the night of shutting the server down for good. Thanks for sticking with me till the end, everyone. And thank you, Mr. Demon Lord of the Great Empire. I've certainly enjoyed spreading bloodshed and chaos with you over the years. Goodbye, Kunai. Sleep well. This is a world abandoned by God, a world where angels drown in despair. But do not let fear seize you. You must listen very carefully. Focus, and you shall surely hear it. The midnight bell tolls. It signals a new beginning, the genesis of a new you. come from I wasn't wearing those shoes and I know damn well I wasn't sitting in front of the computer dressed like a freaking mob boss whatever's going on here it can't be good <laughs> the demon lord Hakuto Kunai this must be infinity game never seen one of those. I think I'd remember making a monster like that. Same goes for that girl. Church. 
wow, this is just generic fantasy land right down in the names, huh? But if this isn't my world like I thought, then why did I get summoned here? I'm nobody important. Uh, what if someone was trying to summon Kunai and I got wrapped up in it? I guess that makes sense. Kind of. You want to take a bath? You're a mess. <gasps> is it really okay? Why wouldn't it be? I'll go wait over there and you can jump in the lake and scrub all that muck off you. Sound good? <gasps> that sounds wonderful. <laughs> Take your time. Just yell at me when you're done. Okay. I didn't know the Forest of Wishes had such a nice lake. It's so clear and pretty. I've never bathed in such clean water before. It's amazing. <laughs> I'm so happy I'm still alive. That aside, I can't help but wonder who that man is. for you. You can clean yourself with this. <gasps> oh, wow. Is this that stuff they call Sapo? Who's they? Ancient Romans? Romans? Are they from Japan? Just forget it. I'm gonna take a walk. Scout the area for monsters. <sighs> I'm gonna run out of skill points at this rate. Seems to work like Infinity Game, where I learn skills and get back my skill points after winning fights. Summoning a bar of soap and a towel cost me five points, so I've only got about 30 left. I need to come up with some kind of strategy to get more. This is going to be a pain. In Infinity Game, you get the most points for beating higher level enemies, but I don't know what that would be in this world or where to find it. Mr. Demon Lord, sorry for the wait. Thank you. The Sapa was great. Enough with the Demon Lord crap already. <gasps> so, that monster. Are there more of them lurking around here? No, of course not. When Grail was already too many, the whole kingdom would be wiped out if there were more. What? You mean that stupid looking thing was actually dangerous? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh, Aku, do you know where that thing's den is or maybe where it sleeps? I could use some more skill points and... Ah! I mean, there's something I want to see. I don't know if this helps or not, but I heard Grail used to be sealed at the Wishing Shrine in this forest. A Wishing Shrine, huh? Since I'm new to the area, I think you could guide me there? Yeah, of course. Tell me where to go and I'll carry you on my back. There's no need for that! I'm filthy and disgusting. You don't want someone like me touching you. Sorry, but I'm not gonna sit here and argue with you. Hurry up! Time to go. Oh, come on! Now you're crying? You can't even humor me! That hurts! I've always been a burden. My village would be better without me. That's why they have me gather up all the garbage from people's houses. And throw out all the human waste. But I've done the best I can, but... Those are important jobs. If you didn't do it, then the villagers would get sick. You shouldn't be ashamed at all. But they... they're always telling me I'm filthy and disgusting. And then they cast me out as a sacrifice to Grail. <laughs> Maybe it's better that way. They all said they'd get dirty if they touched me. So you shouldn't. <laughs> Wait, were you listening? You can't. What the hell does it matter if you get a little dirty sometimes? As long as you keep your heart clean, all you gotta do is take a bath and you'll be as good as new. <sighs> Thank you, Mr. Demon Lord. You're so nice. <laughs> Don't you think you're holding on a bit tight? Oh, I might be. But this is the first time I've ever been so close to someone. So it could take a little getting used to. I guess, but can you read? 
read it? Of course I can. Would you mind reading it out for me, then? Hakuto kunai. Haku. One plus one is two, and the last one is G-A-M-E. Is that right? That's right. Hmm. So we speak the same language and we read the same language, but she's never heard of Japan. I don't really get it, but that's convenient, at least. So how does this wishing shrine work, anyway? Is it like one of those places where you toss in money and pray for good luck? It's much more than that. The cherub used it to seal away Grail. I don't know the details myself, but it must be very powerful. Powerful like how? It grants wishes. And not like the good luck kind of stuff, but real miracles that can change the world. Sounds like a fairy tale. You could even wish for more power if you wanted to. Then you could plunge the whole world into a sea of darkness. Why would I want to do that? That's a bad sign. I'm afraid it might be dangerous in there. You wait outside for now. Um, okay. Well, that explains the smell. I figured as much. Blech. Interesting. So this is our demon lord. I've granted many wishes in my time at this temple, but I believe this one shall be my last. Wait a second! You know something, don't you? It's like you were waiting for me. Were you the one who summoned me here? I played a part, but it was their will. We wish for the Demon Lord to descend upon this world, they said. These guys, you mean? And now they're dead? So did they summon Grail here too, or was that someone else's idea? Grail broke the seal with his own power. No wish was necessary. Upon his revival, he took control of the surrounding forest and demanded sacrifices from all the villages in its vicinity. Sacrifices? These people wished for the Demon Lord's descent, but Grail appeared in order to prevent the summoning. He slaughtered every last one of them. Sorry. That's not my problem. I need you to send me back. I'm afraid I cannot. That would defy the last wish that I granted. You're the boss! Just change the rules! I cannot grant your wish. But seeing as you are my final visitor, I shall give you this. <clears throat> Take it back! It's ugly! This isn't a gift at all! You're trying to punish me, aren't you? I pray that you find your way home. In due time. That was once a beautiful sight to behold, a symbol of purity. But many years of granting wicked wishes to humans turned me into this. Yet still, I pray that your wish comes true. Well, got this stupid ring. What now? somewhere in the area. There's the capital, right here in the Kingdom of Holy Light. Works for me. Think you could draw me a map, maybe? <gasps> Please, don't leave me! I mean, do you think you could take me with you? Uh, you really want to hang out with me? Well, it would be nice. I, uh, can't exactly live in the village now since I was cast out as a sacrifice and all. I know hardly anything about this world. Might be handy having her as a guide. I don't mind. Let's go. Thank you so much. 
If it's all right, could we go back to my village for a second before we set off? I don't have much, but I'd like to grab something. That's fine. Now, hop on. And no complaints this time. <sighs> it won't take long, but as fast as you run. Question. If the situation is bad enough that people are sacrificing each other, then why hasn't this capital or whatever done anything to help? Well, my village is pretty far away from the holy capital, so... I see. So we're in the middle of nowhere. Um, Mr. Demon Lord, could you tell me about the place you come from? Uh, let's just say, it's way out there. All of the land near my village was made barren thanks to a curse from Grail. Even the water underground is dirty and poisonous. That's why I was so happy when I was able to take a bath in that beautiful lake. I've never seen such clean water in my life. Oh, we're almost there. It's quiet today. Just go right in. I live over that way. <laughs> Stealth stance. <laughs> Player messaging feature. Private message to Aku. Can you hear me? Huh? The mean voice of the demon lord is echoing in my head. It's gruff and cool. I'm mean. Never mind. Do what you have to do. I'll be hiding nearby. Um, okay. <sighs> I thought the trash got taken out, but it looks like it came back. If I recall, you were supposed to be a sacrifice. Beat it up, you piece of crap. Those bastards! <laughs> if they displease you, then purge them. I have the authority to dispose of anyone you deem unfit to inhabit this world. What the hell? I'll do that in game, not in real life! If you didn't crave that power, why did you create that game, that world, in the first place? You made it twisted, rotten, drowning in death and destruction, just like you wanted. <clears throat> it is you who is the root of all evil. If I am a fiend who purged over four million lives from the world, then what are you? Nothing less than the this devil. This all in my head. Monster, I am not going to listen to you! <laughs> Just who the hell are you? Ugh, it can't be. Are you one of Griol's underlings? Please spare our poor village. Wasn't our sacrifice good enough for you? your stuff, Aku. Um, yes, sir. Demon Lord. Huh? Uh, what did you say? He's, He's a, a demon, demon lord? The, the demon, demon lord? lord? You just had to open your mouth right then, didn't you? You brought him here? Are you trying to kill us, you piece of trash? You're nothing but a plague. Take your demon lord and get out of here. Sorry you couldn't get your stuff after all the trouble. I'll be okay. I'm not so sure about the villagers, though. I was just warming up the place. They're probably having fun with their big bonfire. Think of it as an act of kindness to spice up their boring little lives. Mr. Demon Lord? I don't understand. Why would you do this for someone like me? Don't put it that way. And don't let other people tell you what you're worth, either. You're doing a fine job in this rotten world, if you ask me. <sighs> do you really think so? What do you say? You have to admit, that was fun. Um, kind of. But I feel like it's bad for me to laugh too much. <laughs> <laughs> now, point me to the capital, partner. All right. Thanks for letting me tag along.
I love my sister Shomia. Well, not forever anyway. Reporting in. I've just seen the Holy Maiden Luna Elegant. She's approaching this way on the road, sir, with an escort of 20 troops. Really? Does that mean she's come here to subjugate us at last? Hmm. What a great honor for a Holy Maiden to come deal with us herself, don't you think? I look forward to facing her head on. Well, actually, unless I'm mistaken, it doesn't seem like her target is us moles. Oh. It's starting to get dark pretty quickly now. Yeah, that appears to be true. What do you think? Should we camp out here? Really? Right here? Come forth, fragment of my intelligence. Fulfill my need. Survival goods! <sighs> there is no end to the depth of my darkness. Defense goods, now! <sighs> Believe it or not, on their own they don't achieve much, but... Item combined! Construct base! Wow, that was incredible! Did I just witness some magic? I can't get over how wonderful you are! <laughs> you have no idea. This baby could even withstand an attack from a rocket launcher. You're as good as dead in Infinity Game unless you camp like this. If you don't, it's practically suicidal. That sounds really fascinating. Not that I understand exactly what you're talking about. I'm just saying it's pretty sturdy, that's all. You're looking at our little home for tonight, Aku. I'm a pretty delicate guy, so there's no way I'm camping under the stars or any crap like that. Great! And you can leave all the choice to me! Uh, is this, uh... Go on, relax and give that tired body a wash. But, hold on a second! It's just, I couldn't possibly use this! Sorry, I get that it's cramped. But this is the best I can do for right now. No, that's not what I meant! Just wait and see. Someday I'm gonna build an entire hot spring resort. And you'll love every single minute of it. How interesting. I wonder what a hot spring resort is. Well, looks like this world has a moon, too. What if I gather enough skill points to unlock administrator privileges? Could that help me return to my world? Although, I know that whole system is based off of Infinity Game. And unfortunately, it's not like there's a return to my world command. If being summoned by that idol is what brought me here, then chances are the only way to return would be to seek out something with a similar type of power. <sighs> Let's hope I find a clue in the Holy Capital. But even if I do go back, would I still have the same life from before? Do I still have a job? I bet my manager's pissed. <sighs> Demon Lord, thank you. I washed myself with that sub ball again. Smell like garbage and sad anymore. Oh my gosh, do you really mean it? That's the first time anybody has ever said that to me. <laughs> Are you planning to sleep right there? Is that okay? I know you're getting these kind of paternal vibes from me right now, but I'm more like older brother material. I, I'm not some old man! I don't really understand, so I think I'm gonna go to sleep. Bring it on, holy maiden and friends. We'd silence a crying baby before we'd let you sneak past. Nothing slips under the mole's noses. What the hell? Who are those two? What do you want us to do, Chief? Well, I'm guessing they're bait. So the moment we attack them, the Holy Maiden and her crew will most likely jump out and ambush us. Should we do nothing and let them go then? No, we'll get them. A quick attack and a quick retreat. Draw the Holy Maiden out into unfamiliar terrain. <laughs> These guys are such a joke. But I'll go ahead and turn off my intercept and auto-attack abilities just in case. Aku, stand back. <gasps> I guess I should just take this attack. Huh, really though? Under level 30. 
Do you even grind? In Infinity Game, only players at the max level of 30 were able to inflict any sort of damage to Kunai. So if that holds true here, this guy's no threat. <sighs> How about if we just skip the hide and seek and you show yourself? <laughs> Hey there, tough guy. I'm Chief of the Moles. Call me Owengo. And you are? That's my manager. What in the world is he doing here? Sorry I've been out. I seem to have gotten isekai somehow. Hmm. What are you talking about? Okay. What the hell? I swear it's him. Quit mumbling to yourself. Uh, just checking. You aren't my manager, Ayuki. Ha! I see. You're trying to confuse me now, aren't you? Because that's a waste of your time. No, that wasn't my intention, but... I mean, am I going insane, or do they look exactly alike? Considering that trick you just conjured up, I've taken it you're a magic user. I've got no obligation to answer that. Try to ignore us and you'll get hurt. Got it, geezer bait? Who are you calling geezer? Seriously, you're older than me! Are you kidding me? If anyone here is sporting an old stink face, it's definitely you! It's not my fault you were born that way. Take that out of your mother! Freaking barbarian! Did she call you a demon lord? A diaper baby like you? Go pretend you're a demon lord in the afterlife! I was right! I knew he had to be a magic user! What was that about magic? Uh -uh. Okay, what the... Who would have thought I'd go demon lord hunting and end up with a bunch of filthy bandits in the bargain? Crap. Everything's ruined. Pull back, men! Retreat! How stupid can you be? Do you actually think you can get away from me? Be torn asunder by gold! Barrier never activated. So this kid is max level? To be honest, I wasn't expecting very much out of you. What did you just say? That was awfully rude! Anyway, do I not at least get an apology for being attacked without provocation? Huh. A holy maiden dispatching evil is just plain common sense. You should know that. All right, then. I'm fine with those being your last words. Aw, seems to me as if you don't have any idea who I am. I'm one of the three holy maidens. The Golden Luna Elegant! Your name's Elegant and you go around shooting off magic like some kind of maniac. Way to not live up to the name, Squirt. Get him! Now! I want you to capture this blockhead! Unfortunately, gents, not a single one of you has any business standing in front of me. back on those who attack me, even if they do happen to be women. Huh? Wait, hold on, what's happening? What are you doing? <laughs> that hurt! <laughs> no, for real! <laughs> Ow, my butt! You're hurting my poor butt! That one was for attacking me! And this is for underestimating me! Let's see, what else can I think of? Oh, you and this one! This, frankly, because I'm really enjoying this. <laughs> Split in it, she'll be fine. Right, that's not quite what I meant, though. Now then, since we've got all this money to blow, what would you say to a stay in the city? <laughs> totally gonna kill that guy! You just wait and see if I don't! You idiot coachman! Didn't I already tell you to go a whole lot slower because this thing's my butt? Really? Whoever named things in this kingdom needs a kick right in the scrode. You think so? Come on, let's buy a bunch of random stuff with all this money. But that money belongs to the Holy Maiden, doesn't it? 
Hey, I was acting in self-defense. In fact, it could be argued that I was actually being kind and lenient. If this was an Arrowgate, we'd be heading for a sex slave route. Mr. Demon Lord, what's Edelgay? <laughs> How much? It'll be three coppers for two skewers. Thank you. Come again. Um, what's this? Look, it's my treat today. Just eat it and enjoy, okay? Uh, 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 I've never eaten anything this delicious before. <laughs> this place is just one terrible name after another. You think so? I've always kind of thought this was a cute name. Welcome. I'd like the best room you've got. <laughs> if you'd like to stay in our premier room, that would cost one gold coin. Oh no, we shouldn't spend that much, Mr. Demon Lord. Uh, Demon Lord? My name's Demon, so it's kind of turned into a joke. Sorry to freak you out like that. <laughs> now, if you please. Right. Of course. Very good, sir. I'll go prepare the room. You can't call me Demon Lord in front of people! Refer to me as your older brother or something! Well, what about if I call you Papa? I'm still a young, swinging, single dude! Please make yourselves at home. I hope you enjoy your stay. Hmm. Not a bad view, if I do say so myself. If I'm honest, I'm surprised at how luxurious this place actually is. But of course, I can't let on, because I've got to keep my cool around Aku. Gorgeous! It's almost like we're staying at a noble's estate. Well, you're easily impressed, aren't you? This is nothing compared to the castle I'll build befitting my greatness one day. A uh, castle, huh? I mean, I'm not sure what you're talking about, but it sounds great. Now then, I'm thinking we should definitely treat ourselves to a nice dinner tonight. But, uh, uh one order of business uh, first. Dear me, that's one shabby outfit, poor thing. I wonder if she's a servant or something. Welcome to you both. Is there anything in particular that you're looking for? Thanks, yeah. We could use a little help finding this one a new outfit that suits her. I'm not really the best at picking out clothes for people. I'd rather leave that to the pros. Okay, hold on. This one looks like the biggest. I'm gonna use this guy. What? No, Demon Lord! Just so we're clear, you're planning to spend that giant gold coin in our establishment? Is it not enough? <laughs> Don't be silly. We're at your service. I'll go put something together for you immediately. Hello, miss. Right this way. Oh, okay. I'd like to smoke, but I'm not seeing any ashtrays. Use my hands. It would be an honor for you to dispose of your ash on my body. Oh, uh, no, that won't be necessary. All I need is an ashtray and a place to sit down, so... Excuse me! Please, sir, it'd be my pleasure for you to sit on my back. What the hell? This place is a little scary. I'm sorry to make you wait. I don't know. Do you think this outfit looks okay on me? Oh, I figured she'd shine up with a bit of polish, but this is such a big transformation. Uh, yeah... Whoa, since when did Aku have different colored eyes? How did I miss that? Maybe I shouldn't mention it, though. If you'd like, I can also bring you several other options to look over. Just say the word and it's done. Let's see. Yes, I'll take everything that suits her. I'm sorry, sir, but did you really just say everything? Yeah, I'll buy it all. Ladies, quick! Bring me the best of everything we have in the young Mrs. size! like he's a man of good taste. It seriously feels like I'm dreaming. I just can't thank you enough for doing all of this for someone like me. Don't worry about it. 
Let's just eat before it gets cold, okay? I do worry about it. It's weird. Why are you being so nice to me? I mean, that's a fair question. I wonder what makes me go so far for her. Would you please tell me if there's any way to repay you for your great kindness to me? Anything that you want! If it's something I can do, then I'll do it for you! Did you really just offer to do anything I want? <gasps> now I've got you, Demon Lord! Demon Lord? I wonder if she's talking about that man. You dare to sit here and eat with my money? Are you stupid? Do you want to die? I think you're forgetting. That money's mine now. You offered it to me as an apology. Because if I hadn't done that, you would have stopped at the endless banking of my butt! Okay, no need to mess yourself. Why don't you sit down and join us? We wouldn't want to disturb the other guests now, would we? Give me one good reason why I should listen to you! Well, do you want to be disciplined again? <laughs> Glad to see you know how to be reasonable. Everyone, I'd like to apologize for causing that commotion. If you'd allow me, I'd like to make it up to you all by treating each table to a bottle of wine with my compliments. Oh my, that's so generous! Yeah, he seems like a really upstanding guy. Garçon, something nice for the little lady. It's my treat, so have as much as you'd like. You jerk! More like it's my treat, right? Oh, um, I'm so sorry, Holy Maiden. But the Demon Lord isn't actually a bad person, you know? What's wrong with you? There's no such thing as a good Demon Lord! Uh, I guess it's true. You can be so kind sometimes, but you can also be mean. I always act like a perfect gentleman. It's just that I'm picky about who I treat nicely. Oh dear. The Holy Maiden is actually a very important person, Demon Lord. Uh. Well... I guess I can't carry her on my back with a dress on, so... Okay, I've changed my mind. You're mostly kind. Mm -hmm. Idiot! Now I've got no money to stay anywhere and it's all thanks to you! What's the problem? Can't you just camp somewhere? Whatever happened to your troops, sad little Luna? I sent them home, thank you very much! Really? Why would you do that? Why do you think? Because I didn't want to put them in any more danger for no good reason. So you thought it might be a good time for us to hang out? No, that's not what I'm saying at all! Demon Lord! Sorry, but could you please be a little bit nicer to the Holy Maiden? Alright then. Here. What is it? Is there something else that you want? Oh, uh, okay, fine, so be it! I'll let the two of you stay in this room with me! You sure your head's on straight? Well, you reserved the room with my money, didn't you? I'd say it's only proper that I'm allowed to sleep in it. Oh, wow, I think she might have you there, Demon Lord. Sister, we've almost reached the city. How dare that shitty brat. She's gonna regret causing me trouble. Your name is Aku, isn't that right? <gasps> well, from now on, I want you to call me Sister Luna. Is it okay for me to be so informal with the Holy Maiden? I say it's fine, therefore it's fine. I make the rules here. Right. Besides, we're already comfy enough together to see each other naked. <laughs> here I come. Oh, what are you doing down there? Administrator privileges. Item file. I'm so used to Infinity Game where players couldn't hold any more than ten items at a time. Getting to store infinite items like this makes things a lot easier. Luna, got a minute? Sorry, you say something? Are we on a first name basis now? Fine, whatever. I just need you to tell me everything you know about the cherub. Uh, pardon me, Sister Luna. It's just that Demon Lord isn't very knowledgeable about this stuff. Do you think you could tell him what he needs to know? The cherub is dead. It died after sealing the Demon King Grail. Doing that used up all its power. Well, you don't say. 
Thankfully for us, the Kingdom of Holy Light still has the Elfin and the Seraph, and they serve as guides to the people. To think the peace of the Kingdom could actually be threatened, that's truly absurd. Sister, we've almost reached the city of Yaru. Good. I'm ready to tie a rope around that freaking brat's neck and drag her home. I gotta say, it's gutsy of her to try to subdue a demon lord. We're all pretty impressed with your sister's fierce bravery and her utter fearlessness. You're all morons. That little twerp's just doing it for attention. As if a demon lord exists anyway, the idiot. But lots of people are saying that Krayo really was killed by someone! <laughs> You're such a meathead. How dare my big sister withhold information from me like that? Did you really think you could ever beat me, you maggot? I've got a grasp on the Cherub situation. So, do you care to tell me where I can find the Ophan and Seraph? Dunno. It's been ages since anyone in the kingdom has seen either of them. Oh, it's only a legend then. There are some misguided believers who have convinced themselves that the stone statue at the Wishing Shrine is actually the Ophan. But it's fine. They'll get divine retribution for that someday. Could it be possible that the idol actually was the Ophan? I was once a beautiful sight to behold, a symbol of purity, but many years of granting wicked wishes to humans turned me into this. Still don't have enough information to form a proper plan just yet. I've got to gather more intel in the Holy Capital. But before I can do that, I guess I'd better do something about this empty wallet of mine. In my motherland, we've traditionally had a strong appreciation for taste and elegance. So everyone always presents their finest wares when serving tea. In fact, you're considered an embarrassment to your family if you dare to put out something that looks cheap. Well, goodness, that certainly is interesting. So, today, I've brought my very favorite tea bowl from my motherland with me. It's incredible! Look how splendid it is! Right, is in this trash I literally just made with a few skill points and that only gives one offense? I just don't get it. So, tell me, how much would it cost for you to part with it? No, no, no. I'd like for you to think of this as a small token, given only in hopes of establishing a long-lasting partnership. However, seeing as how I don't have very much money on hand, I'd be happy to accept one giant gold coin as collateral, if you're willing. Um, uh, one giant gold coin? That looked like the most expensive coin in Luna's back by far, so I figured I should probably start with that, but who knows, I guess. I've heard all those incredible rumors about you, you know. They whisper that you're a cultured guy, even descended from royalty, as well as a very tolerant, accepting gentleman. <laughs> <laughs> Who would dare go around spreading baseless rumors like that? Look, I'm sure you must have your own reasons for denying it, but I can promise you I won't tell anyone else about it, so no need to worry. I'll gladly accept your proposition. Let me go get things ready for you. I appreciate your understanding. But before that, I think it's important that I tell you something. If you end up selling the tea bowl, you need to be sure to take nothing less than five giant gold coins in exchange for it. You got that? Oh, five giant coins? Are you positive? If you can't promise me that, then let's just pretend like this conversation never happened. No, wait, please. I understand. I promise to honor your wishes. Holy crap! That sold for a ton more than I thought it would! The value of stuff here is way different than an Infinity game. Cool. I'll invite Aku and Luna to dinner or something. Luna, get out here! As you know, much to our disappointment, we demon-believing Satanists failed at summoning the Demon Lord. But if it resulted in the Holy Maidens mobilizing and taking action, then I say it was not done in vain. We will eradicate the Holy Maidens from this world just as we had originally planned. May disaster befall the Holy Maidens. May it befall every one of them. This one's gonna be a handful. She's got those crazy eyes. While we're at it, if there's a demon lord, get your ass out here too! 
Yeah, right. Are you kidding? Go back to your post-apocalyptic nightmare. Get out of my oh. way. Move it. What's wrong with you? <gasps> hey, sister. What are you doing here? Hey, little brat. How dare you run off to pick a fight without telling anyone? Well, I heard a demon lord appeared, so I thought someone should... You imbecile! <laughs> what the hell could you do on your own? Next time, instead of chasing a demon lord who doesn't exist, try taking a nap, little baby crap! No, sister, you don't get what's going on! There really is a demon lord, and I used my charms to tame him! Oh, how cute. And what happened next, or did you wake up? He exists! Also, he's completely obsessed with my butt! Huh? Your butt? Uh, I mean, I get what she's talking about, but man, does it sound super bad when she says it like that! <clears throat> Death to the phony angel! Behold my firebird! May grief befall the holy maidens! Ice hammer! No! Fuji! I'm on it! Why do these outfits look so familiar? Wait a minute. The guys who were killed at the Wishing Shrine wore that too. My, my, what a pleasure, you Satanist scum! darkness. If I give it up in exchange for two holy maidens, so be it. What the hell? What is this? Luna, get back! Hades is here! You fools, your divine protection is gone. Shoot the holy maidens! Yeah, okay, this is looking bad. Why do you hesitate? <laughs> Why not toss a grenade over that way? So simple. Then you could kill everyone at one time. Are you insane? What's wrong with you? If I were to kill the Holy Maidens, you know all that would do is get my face bumped up higher on the wanted list! And what of it? After all, that woman is already after the Demon Lord. Her along with everyone else in this kingdom. <laughs> yes, that helps. Now it's a clear-cut case of legitimate self-defense, just the way you like it. You should be grateful. Damn! My body's not moving the way I need it to! There has to be an answer! Don't I have anything to help me get out of this? Uh, what? At this point, I haven't really got much choice! Anyway, 
messing with women and kids. That bastard must be a holy maiden goon. Not for long. Get him! <laughs> you guys really want a piece of me? Bunch of one-punch weaklings. Disappointing. Wait, who the hell is that? And what's going on with that smoke and white outfit? It's so sick. Uh, all right, who are you? And what do you want? Considering you're just a gang of cowards who harass women, I don't think you deserve to know my name. A uh, woman? He just called me a woman. Huh, surprisingly, it didn't feel half bad. Look, he's probably just one of the holy knights. Don't worry. He... Uh... So quick. How is he that fast? That whole thing was basically a blur. Hey, you see that, Luna? You're worthless, you know that? Afraid it's time to go, punks. Worms are too early to face the dragon. By around a thousand years. He's so flippin' cool, I can barely handle it. This is crazy! This city doesn't seem to be one I remember. How are you doing? Okay? Uh, yeah. You're damn reckless, you know. What made you decide to go up against guys with weapons? Is this dude actually concerned for me? How long has it been since that's happened? Well, if that trash messes with you again, you just let me know. I'll happily come running to the rescue. <laughs> My heart can't take it! He's killing me right now! I'm dead four times over! For some reason, I can't seem to act like myself around this guy! What's up with that? Ah, I'll die if anyone sees me like this! I seriously will! I'm um, sorry to have to ask, but would you be so kind as to tell me your name, please? I'll strangle you later. I'm gonna squeeze the life out of you. Sure, I'm Zero. Zero Kirisame. Zero? Okay, well, I'm sorry for dragging you into all this, I mean. <laughs> hey, there's no need for you to look so pitiful. I mean, I'm pretty much the definition of unrivaled, you know? <sighs> Insignificant little street brawl like this barely even registers for me. Crap, my nose is gonna bleed! Looks like a few people got hurt. Go and take care of them. I'm gonna get out of here. Oh, okay. Zero Kirisame. I finally found him. The man of my destiny. You monster. At least I was fortunate enough to have recovered Hades. Those with dragon blood, who have taken up arms against evil and look on the ground with such disdain. The filthy dragonkin. Could it even be possible that they formed a kind of secret union with the Kingdom of Holy Light? Demon Lord, it's kind of a good thing I ran into you here. Damn it! Will someone please kill me? Just kill me now! The very definition of unrivaled my ass! You're a freaking imbecile and I hate your guts! Ah, come here, Wall! Um, is there something I can do, Demon Lord? Huh? What? No! This... Sorry. Anyway, Aku, did you happen to see that guy? I don't know what you're talking about. Come on, yeah, you do. That man who was wearing the almost disturbingly white clothing. Oh, you're talking about the Dragonkin. I was in the hotel, so I actually didn't get to see it, but Sister Luna told me about him. When he thrust his fist, she said it sent out a shockwave that looks like a dragon. 
and then I sent all the bad guys flying off. Oh, what if I Tan? I hate this. I want to crawl inside myself and die a thousand times. Hope it's okay to ask, but why is it you're so curious about him? Is it possible he could be someone you know? Hell no! I don't know that guy! Oh, okay. I was just wondering. I can't do it! I cannot admit to her that that guy and me are actually one and the same! Zero Kirisame? Why the hell did I ever create that hard-ass delinquent joke of a character? What was I thinking?! Come on, Yukikaze. You've got to stop wasting money now that we're short again. Do you want to lick me, Khan? No, thank you. And hey, don't talk and eat. It's so gross. Okay. Look, quit being dumb and let's just get on with this, okay? I'm ready to go whenever. Look at this one. Seeking able adventurers to exterminate dangerous sand wolves. <laughs> nice. That reward isn't too bad either. All right. Sounds like a job for us, then. Hey, excuse me. We'd like to go ahead and take on that one request with the sand wolves. Got it. Just give me a minute. Uh, check this guy out. Hey, what about this guy? Is he a new bounty? Do you know what he's supposed to have done? I guess he's claiming to be the Demon Lord. Interesting. Wait, is his thing a Demon Lord too? What in the hell are you thinking? Luna, what happened to those soldiers? Huh? I sent them all home. Why'd you do that? What do you plan to do if something happens? Oh, well, I've got you, don't I? Huh? Since when and in what universe did I become your bodyguard? Shut your mouth! I know you're actually happy to be with me anyway. Friggin' pervert. Oh, you're calling me a pervert now? Seriously, when have I ever done a single perverted thing to be you? Be real. I know you haven't been able to forget the way my butt feels, have you? You're a total butt fetish perv! <laughs> this is great! I've had a really hard life! It's just, I've always wanted to go on an adventure. You've got to be kidding me. Right, we're glad to have you too. Just be ready to work hard and do everything I say. The agony. Luna, you stand out too much in that outfit. Here, why don't you try these on? You want me to change? Wait a minute, I bet you're just trying to get me into something sexier, aren't you? Don't be stupid. Just put it on. Oh, wow. It's so normal. Yeah, and I think Demon Lord must have chosen that outfit especially for you. You'll look great. No doubt in my mind, Sister Luna. Well, I guess you could be right about that. Keep an eye out. I'm pretty sure they said the sand wolves should be right around this area. Got it? You ready? Always ready. Too ready, Kay. Would it be too much to ask for you to not be a smartass today? Sorry, I'm afraid it's just part of the package now. Wow, that's great. How lucky for me, am I right? <sighs> this heat is the worst. My boobs are all sweaty. But you don't even have boobs to begin with. That tells me a lot about you. The truth is, only those who are pure of heart can see my perfect breasts. If he could keep his mouth shut, you might actually believe he was a gorgeous girl. But he's a dude. Why do you keep staring at me like that? <clears throat> Sorry, it's nothing. We should be focusing on the job. Sand wolves, huh? As far as monsters go, they can be a fairly dangerous breed. In a pack, they're downright ferocious. And they've even heard stories that they've managed to attack and destroy entire cities. Yeah. But on the other hand, as long as there aren't a whole lot of them, they're easily handled. So there's no real reason to be worried. Mikan? Shh! Be quiet. You hear that? Those mongrels are hiding nearby. Take on that many at once. I mean, I've always been petite. There's not enough of me. 
Wait, are we talking about something else now? <sighs> Stop talking and run faster. I think I'm gonna take a break and smoke for a bit. Why don't you get changed while I do? You really just want to sneak a peek. I know you do. You're desperate to get a look at my butt. <sighs> Running away? You're only leaving because you know I'm right. skill points somehow. But it's just like Infinity Game. You earn them by fighting. Guess I need to make that happen. Um, sir? Look! Over there! <laughs> well, looks like I've got my chance. <laughs> what the hell? How many are there? And why are they training them straight toward us? Are they crazy? Get away from here! It's all up to you, fancy old man! Can't stop to bury you! I can't believe these guys! It's like they want to get eaten! Well, no worries. I can handle this. I'm, like, 98% positive. My barrier will protect me. I'm fine. I'll be fine. I'm gonna be fine, right? You weak fools. Explain to me the reason. You're running from such pathetic beasts. What's up? Is there anything we should be worried about? It'll be fine. Just stay in the coach. You're about to breathe your last breath in my hands! First still! Assault! <laughs> your foul, wretched eyes don't even deserve to behold me! Second still! Send light! <laughs> no one escapes the Demon Lord! Third still! Thunderclap! <laughs> Like my work is done. Thanks, you didn't even make me break a sweat. Now, get. Uh. Uh, hey! Next time, be a little more careful not to get others involved. So long. Is that the demon lord we've heard about? He's very refined. Feeling a little warm downstairs. He's a dangerous person, you know? It's true, he's dangerous. Dangerous to my chastity, that is, you know what I mean. We need to get to the capital. Oh good, if we're going to the capital, I can get a makeover. Demon Lord, you're incredible! Watching all of that made my heart go aflutter. He saved me from a life that felt like nothing more than wasting away a little bit each day. And even if he does happen to be a pretty terrible evil being... I know I'll never be able to leave his side. Not even if it means having the rest of the world as my enemy. Did you two behave yourselves while I was working? Looking at you. You did fairly well back there. Exactly what I'd expect from my protector. Cool. It's not like I said I was down for that, but... Oh, by the way, don't you have something to say? Haven't you noticed? Uh. Ah. Right, of course. Uh, I think it looks good on you. Seriously, suits you really well. Well, yeah, I mean, when someone's a real lady like me, they make everything look good. <laughs> Amy! Man, I hope I'm not one of those protagonists who can't tell when a girl's making a move. Finally, finally, the time has come! <laughs> Isn't he? 
He's definitely not an idiot. He is eccentric. Listen, you be careful with him. From the dirty look on his face, I bet you anything he's thinking about something perverted right now. Like maybe our butts? I'm gonna need peace to do some deep thinking for a bit, you two. Why don't you get in the base to be safe? Wait, what do you mean by base? Side too, if you want, you know. Oh, thank you, sir. But I think you should probably just stay here and feed the horse. Well, at least take one of these, okay? I'll give you a little something. Ooh, this is really good stuff, huh? I gotta admit, you really did show some guts during that whole fiasco. You didn't panic in the slightest, even when it was crazy. And I found that to be pretty impressive. Uh, well, that's... I mean, that's because you're... It's because I'm what? No! Never mind! I'm just a dumb coachman! Interesting. As you wish. Finally! It's about time! In Infinity Game, there are those eight awesome aids that always work directly under Hakuto Kunai. And the truth is, every last one of them is worth at least a thousand of anyone else. They do require a fair share of skill points, but their talent should definitely make it all worthwhile. With my current amount of skill points, it looks like I can only summon one. I need to put some serious thought into which one I should call. My underlings and I have no real way to guard ourselves against magic. That's a potentially lethal weak point that I can't afford to keep putting off. I should probably make it a priority to choose an aide who's equipped to address that issue. You kitty know then? I mean, having a genius doctor and scientist of her caliber working on it, there's no way we won't end up with some amazing invention to shield against magic. Flip side, there is the problem of her sadistic tendencies and her absurdly short temper. She'd kill and dissect someone without batting an eye for no other reason than to satisfy her own strange curiosity. And she's weird about little boys. Ah, just do it already! In the rare case she turns on you, you know you can take her. She's a solid choice. Okay, here we go. Admin privileges. Aid summon. You carry now, I command you to appear before me. Always come to wherever you are, if that's what you command. Now then, where are we? Is this a new game arena or something? She's talking! And she's acting of her own free will! I can't believe I'm getting to see one of my characters come to life right in front of me! Chief, you good? <clears throat> I wonder where I should start with this explanation. Okay, first of all, this isn't the Great Empire. Wow, this path isn't half bad. <laughs> Oh, good. I'm so glad that you like it, Sister Luna. Sure do. Honestly, I kind of want the whole house. Hey, I have a great idea. I'm going to convince him to give it to me as a present. Will you help? Um, I guess so. I'm not sure exactly what Demon Lord might have to say about it, but I can definitely ask. Oh, yay! Yes, yes please do, Aku! <laughs> it's a little bit close! From everything you've said so far, in my opinion, it sounds just like a forced positioning attack. Oh yeah, that explains this scenery. Which, needless to say, is a lot different than the world we're from. It's nice to talk to someone who gets it. So, about how we should proceed. Listen, Chief. Regardless of the situation, I believe the Nightless City is what's needed. 
Nightless City. It's home to the most advanced technology in the Great Empire, and it's the final area of Infinity Game. But if we were to erect such a huge modern fortress in a fantasy world like this, it would immediately be seen as the Demon Lord's Castle. Come on. Don't you think we were brought here for a reason? Okay, yes, I can see that it might be possible. <laughs> well, I'm glad to hear that. I think it's clear to both of us what we're meant to do. Surely you agree? Yes, but getting there is a long way off. A journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. There you go again. You can find the bright side to just about any situation, it seems. Well, enjoyment can be found in everything. That's been my belief, anyway. That's very true. So then, what would you like our first move to be? I think our first order of business should be to upgrade the base to a field hospital. Do you know what? All the wishes I've ever had have been granted by you, Chief. Well, it's only natural. The wishes of my very talented underling are the same as my own. I appreciate that. Speaking of the hospital, I forbid you to kill anyone. We need to learn a lot more before we do anything else. Agreed. We can't possibly proceed while knowing so little. Learning more is of vital importance. For now, I'll make sure to give you all the information I've gathered so far. You is much smarter than I am, without a doubt. She was designed as a genius doctor, not to mention a mad sadist. I could barely comprehend her myself. I'll need to be very careful not to slip up with this one. Your lover? I mean, how'd she get here? This is an aide of mine whom I've summoned. So get along with her. Hello, my name is Saka. I'm the Kingdom of Holy Light's third holy maiden, Luna. Okay, and don't you forget it. I'm charmed, Aku. Holy maiden Luna. Hey, by the way, could you look at Aku's leg? <sighs> Alright, Aku. Can you relax for me? Okay. A girl. Uh, your hand. Uh, I've never seen. Oh, there's nothing to worry about. Just the tip. Just the tip, I swear, okay? Uh, well, why is your breathing all heavy and scary? Aku, I think you could dress as a boy. I mean, once we're done. You, we don't have time to play around. Of course, my apologies. This will only sting for a second. Okay, love? Nothing to worry about. You need to learn to trust me and my underlings. Yeah, well, I haven't trusted you a single time so far. There. Wasn't too bad, right? And I cleaned up your scar as well. Your leg is as good as new. All finished? Aku, can you stand? Uh, sure. Understood, Chief. Thank you. <laughs> hey, now, don't horse around too much. Did you see that? I can run now. Didn't I tell you? Nothing is impossible for the Great Empire. I mean, this is like a dream. I can't believe my leg doesn't hurt anymore. It's no dream. If I have anything to say about it, you'll be able to walk without pain for the rest of your life. Um, would you mind pinching my cheek, please? Uh, again with those classic lines. <sighs> well, anyway, I'm really happy for you. Demon Lord, do you think we could walk around a little longer? 
you don't have to let me ride on your back anymore, I guess. Nah, I can always give you a lift when you're tired. Promise me that you'll never leave me. You should save that line. You'll want to use it sometime in the future when you meet the person you like. Oh, I don't know. I think I already did. Hey there, we're back. Did your leg hold up all right, Aku? Did this perv demon lord try anything? You have a real talent for rudeness. To be honest, I'm almost impressed. You. That was some excellent work. I was right to have chosen you. Uh, what is this feeling? My body, my heart, my very cells. I'm trembling with bliss all the way to the tips of my hair. What is that? It's almost as if some kind of all-powerful creator has finally acknowledged my presence. An overwhelming sense of euphoria is enveloping my body. I'll be needing all your support from here on out. I'm really counting on you. Right. Yes. Why? Being praised like this. Being needed like this. Why does it make me so happy? I feel different than I've ever felt before. And really, the chief is different than he used to be, too. I want to know more about these feelings, but also about chief. A demon lord, huh? What's he like? Is he good looking or what? Oh yeah, that fancy old dude. A total daddy. He could so get it any way he wanted. <laughs> Yuki Kaze, you'd never change a bit, do you? You could grab any guy by the balls and he'd be all yours. Would you stop? He's the freaking demon lord. Don't you even know what that means? And anyway, I'm fairly positive you're not his type. How do you know that? I could give him beautiful demon lord babies. Alright, that's it. Has somebody spiked your milk or something? The point being, there was something like 300 sand wolves there, you know? And that guy literally squirts the whole pack in less than a second. A person like him invites disaster. Mikan, did you already forget how that fancy old dude saved your life? <laughs> okay, fine, that's fair, but... Uh, I'll happily pay him back with my body! Live your best life, just leave me way out of it. Man, my head hurts. EA, there you are, more ale! Sure thing! And I want some more of that creamy milk stuff in my belly! Walking. You had Hades, and yet you accomplished so little. Look, you may be good at giving orders, but when it comes down to it, you're a total coward. No, that dragon can just happen to possess powers out of the ordinary. That's all it was. To be perfectly honest, the appearance of this demon lord concerns me quite a bit more than the dragon kin ever could. Lord Utopia. Though it's true we revived the demon king, there are rumors that he was killed by this demon lord. <laughs> In any case, it seems Hades requires more sacrifices and power. We'll destroy the capital by allowing Hades to consume everything both good and bad. Crayle, that useless, incompetent fool! How could he have stumbled over such a tiny pebble? So, uh, what's that village? Seems like a pretty desolate place from the looks of it. That happens to be my village. Huh? What? It's my territory? <laughs> so you're fine with the way things are going here. Have you seen it? I have no interest in running a stupid territory. Besides, someone they sent from the church is officially overseeing it. So it's really none of my business anyway. 
Now I get it. Luna's just the public face used to rally support. Probably a blessing. She's good at magic, but she'd suck at running a territory. Someone like her would raise taxes like crazy and cause a revolt faster than she could say let them eat cake. I imagine she'd get herself slapped into the stocks her very first day on the job. probably dumped this particular land on Luna to keep her away from the better areas and their own interests elsewhere. Message. You. I have a strong suspicion that the church is manipulating Luna like she's no more than a puppet. What do you think? I agree. The nobility and the church brass most likely decided to take full advantage of her naivete by choosing to stick her with the most problematic land. In which case, they can't really complain if we take this rejected piece of Earth, right? You plan to use this village? Why not? It's only made in territory, so no one should interfere. It's pretty convenient. <laughs> Luna, I'd like to borrow a corner of the village. Demon Lord, what is it you're planning to do here? Nothing much. Just considering possibly running a doctor's office for the people. Oh, you mean with Miss Yu? If Miss Yu works as a doctor, people from all of the kingdom will come! Hmm. Well, Chief, how about around this area? Hmm, it looks a little cramped. See, I was thinking about building a hot spring resort right next to it. A hot spring, huh? That sure sounds lovely. Let's be real, it's hard to find anyone who hates hot springs. So if I open up a hospital and hot springs together, I can rake in double the income. Boom! I can even sell soap in some kind of package deal and have a really nice little business. Well, if it isn't Miss Luna, it's so nice of you to come and see us. Wait a second! It's that man from the Wanted posters! Yeah, the Demon Lord. And I've forced him to cooperate with me. Am I right to assume you're the one appointed here by the church? From this day forward, Luna and I will be looking after this village together, thanks. Get back to the church or whatever and pass the news on to whoever needs it. Uh, pardon me, but shouldn't we really be discussing this with my superiors first? Superiors? I'm afraid I'm not exactly following. Luna is the rightful lord of this territory and she wishes to run things her own way from here on. But it kind of sounds to me like you're suggesting the church and your highly questionable superiors are the true lords of this territory and this village. Oh, no, 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 not at all. Of course this village belongs exclusively to Miss Luna. Hmm. Well, I believe you've answered your own question then. Now run along and do as I said. So, you can be a surprisingly smooth talker when it comes down to it, huh? Don't worry about a thing. If you just leave it all to me, I'll help this village get back up on its feet. So, um, do you think my allowance could go up at all? Of course. I promise you that. <sighs> Kion, how are the carrots over there? Not good. They're too skinny to sell for much. How are yours over there? <sighs> it's bad here, too. We need to buy more water crystals. Can we? They're so pricey now. Earth crystals too. The soil is so bad that without crystals, there's no way we'll be able to grow carrots. No one can grow them but us, so at least we can get a good price from the harvest. But when I think of how many crystals we'll need... What's the deal with the rabbit-eared people? They're a race called bunnies. What they say is that long ago, the Cherub loved and adored them. There aren't many of them, but they're all gathered here to live together. Adored, huh? Almost seems more like they're being quarantined here. Because the Kingdom of Holy Light kind of hates all the other races except humans. Mm. Hey! Hold on, what did you do that for? <laughs> no reason, really. Just a little friendly support to cheer you up. Stop lying to me! You're a pervert and all you wanted was to touch my butt, am I right? I'm right, aren't I? You know I'm right! Could you save your dreams for bedtime? I, for one, would like to go hear what the bunnies have to say. Oh, so you're already bored with my butt and now you're gonna go after the bunnies' butts! You're the perviest demon lord in the whole world! Yes, 
I can see the water shortage is causing you trouble. Is there anything you can do, Demon Lord? You knew good and well that your vassals were in need, and yet you turned your back and didn't help them. Not exactly model holy maiden behavior. It isn't my fault, okay? I was always taught to keep my pretty little hands out of the dirty workings of the day-to-day. So, you said your name was Kyon, right? Is there a well for water in this village? Um, yes, there is. Hop! Hop? Hop, hop, bunny, bunny, hop, hop! This is probably obvious, but why do you use the word hop so much? Oh, we've just learned humans get pretty disappointed unless we finish with that. Hop! Well, you can drop it for me, okay? Did you say your name was Momo? You can skip all the hopping, too. Got it, bunny! No! You don't get it at all! What the hell's wrong with these people?! The water well's this way. Hop! Well, you guys are killing me. Please just guide us there already. Okay, what kind of shape is it in? Not good. The underground water vein is completely exhausted, and it's likely that digging any deeper would be a complete waste of time and resources. Ah, <sighs> that figures. But we don't have the budget to go out and buy more water crystals, Bunny. We're in trouble, Hop. He's gonna do something crazy again, but what? What'll we do? Let's see, a pulley wheel is a low-level item, so it's only five skill points. When you play Infinity Game, plastic bottles filled up with water are the primary recovery item. In areas with water wells, you could use a pulley wheel in order to draw the water up. Cool, I've got 265 skill points. Even if I build the field hospital in Hot Springs, I'll still have some left over. Well, shall we get started then? One low-level item, creation. Come on. I'm getting scared now. Hop, what even was that bunny? How do you do it? Where the heck do you get all that stuff from? I suppose the simplest answer is a fragment of my intelligence. Right, that makes total sense. All right, we should probably go ahead and get this thing attached. I'll help. I love a challenge. If the well's exhausted, isn't it kind of pointless to add a pulley wheel? Huh? It's okay. You can trust Mr. Demon Lord. He knows what he's doing. Using this special pulley wheel of mine is guaranteed to produce water every time. The state of the well doesn't even matter. I don't think I understand what you're saying, Bunny. Well, I don't understand why you say Bunny all the time, so we're even. What's the weirdo doing this time? Aku, could you bring up some well water? Sure, I'll try. <laughs> See, by twisting this wheel, even Aku can draw water with relative ease. And all I have to do is turn it like this, right? You're nuts. You can't draw water from a dry well. <laughs> Look, it's water! <laughs> okay, what's the meaning of this, Demon Lord? It's just like he said it would be. It's a total cinch for me to fetch water. Momo, look at this! There's tons of water now! Are you kidding? How is that possible? You guys can't speak normally after all! As I thought, it's regular water. I would definitely have to rethink my plan if it was water that recovered HP, but... Then again, if water crystals are valuable enough to be sold, it probably wouldn't be the smartest move in the world to let this go public. Well, you gonna explain? Why is water suddenly coming out just because you added that thing? This is a magic pulley wheel from my homeland. As you can see, it draws water from even the most dried up wells. I'm sure it's not hard to understand how valuable an item like this can be for a community. <laughs> Honestly, it wouldn't be outside the realm of possibility for a war to break out over this thing. The fact that it's such a low level item is beside the point. We'll keep the secret in this village forever! Hop! We can't thank you enough! Now we can grow healthy carrots again! Bunny! They're saying it on purpose now! Why must they torture me? Anyway, let's see. The next thing you need for farming is... I need a mid-level item. Creation. Fertilizer. I assume you know how to use this. I'm counting on you to do whatever needs to be done with it.
Momo, look! This fertilizer is amazing! Oh, wow! It's overflowing with blessed power! Well, oh, this should lighten up the mood in the village for a bit at least. We can fix it up all we want, but no one's gonna come here if the whole place is just a bunch of downer bunnies. Just like the thing with the tea bowl. It's hard to process that such utter pieces of crap can be so valuable here. Kinda unbelievable. So, I've been thinking. But I guess you must have some good in you. Uh, you're smarter than that. It isn't out of the goodness of my heart or whatever. Everything I do is for a reason. Then what's your reason now? Oh, I bet I know. You want to do nasty things to the bunnies! <sighs> you're being dumb. Surely you understand that somebody has to operate the hospital in Hot Springs, right? The only thing I want to do to the bunnies is employ them. Like this! Oh? Well, if it helps my village develop and it raises my allowance, then I guess I've got no complaints. That's good, because I'm just laying down the groundwork for now. We'll do more once we return from the capital. You better be planning to spoil my brains out while we're there. Lots of clothes shopping, am I right? Why should I have to be dragged into clothes shopping with you? My goodness, isn't that something? So Miss Luna is taking over the church run territory. Because she would prefer to handle it all on her own, correct? We should be pleased. I admit I'm worried about her. The one calling himself Demon Lord. I'm afraid that he may be deceiving her greatly. Oh, don't worry. If that bad man bothers you so much, you know I'd be more than happy to discipline him myself for you. Miss Luna has obviously chosen to trust this person. I don't believe we have the right to interfere with that. That's a crock. Isn't his face already plastered on wanted posters all over the city? Dona, that's because of the damage that was caused in town. You know what that's about. You wish to punish someone Miss Luna trusts because of a rumor. Please, you know full well that Blitzer reported one of his remote villages was burnt to a crisp. Besides, didn't this demon lord person completely destroy Miss Luna's escort? According to all the reports I've received, only a single house in the village was actually burned. I think perhaps it could be that Blitzer exaggerated the incident. Come now! Are you telling me that you don't trust the word of a noble? Trust is earned. I bestow it based upon a person's merit, not their status. As far as I'm concerned, the reports from my subordinates are more likely to be accurate than anything Blitzo says. It's a rare thing for her to act upon something on her own. For the time being, I believe we should wait and see. Yes, of course. If that's what the Holy Maiden prefers. As you wish. What an insufferable person. He is the worst! I heard you had a rough time the other day. I'm glad you're okay. You ran into Luna in the city of Yahoo, right? How did she seem to be doing? The report I received said that she was traveling with this man who's calling himself Demon Lord. So now I'm worried sick. A dragonkin got involved in the whole mess somehow as well, apparently, so... I'm in love. Ah! Uh, For real, I think I'm in love with that man. I can't stop thinking about how perfectly cool he was! Wait, hold up! are you saying right now? Are you... are you actually referring to that dragonkin? His crazy speed and that beautiful fighting spirit! His shockwave that literally embodied the form of a freaking dragon! Um, but Queen, isn't it hard to believe that there was a real dragonkin there? Let alone one who embodies the form of a dragon... <laughs> you wouldn't be spouting that nonsense if you'd been there to see him like I was! His strong, powerful fists! His striking figure! His impossibly magnificent good looks! And his cool lines! Could we calm down a bit? You gutless worms are too early to face the dragon by around a thousand years. Huh? <laughs> He's way too cool for me! <sighs> I'm rude and I pick fights and my language is pure trash, but he really looked at me as a woman! Zero pure seven! There's no 
way he doesn't smell incredible. What the? Will someone please explain to me what is happening right now? Queen and Luna are both acting totally weird! <laughs> hey, Organ. Do you think it could really be true that a dragonkin showed up in Yahoo? No. It just seems ridiculous. But you never know. There are no guarantees in this world. I know! It sounds like some kind of fairy tale. A dragonkin taking a stand against evil. If there really was one, the Beast Kingdom would be all over it, that's for certain. You never know. Maybe he's a wild dragonkin or something. Don't be absurd. Why is the union of human and dragon celebrated, but a human and demon? They're detested and persecuted. What a ridiculous, illogical world this is. I know the dragonkin is great in all mink, but I recommend this one here. Hmm. Check it out. This man is calling himself Demon Lord. So one thing's for sure. If you hang out with him, you can expect to get into plenty of shenanigans. Oh? <laughs> I can feel the waves of destiny crashing over me. My right eye is throbbing. I can see it. I can see it all. By the hands of that man, the future of our world will plunge into chaos. Come on, Oregon. I think we should perform a blood oath right here. The coming chaos is going to be darker than either of us can imagine. You do know you're a priest. What the heck are you talking about? If I'm not mistaken, aren't those the S-rank adventurers, Mink and Oregon? It's true the Demon Lord may be out of our league, but I have a feeling those two could handle him. That old man is mine and mine alone. Nobody else lays a hand on the hot demon. I'll admit, this place is pretty impressive, Luna. I know. Great, right? I mean, it's one of my favorite spots for a reason, so... Welcome, Miss Luna. How wonderful to see you. Thank you for visiting us again. Thank you. But today we've come to celebrate a special occasion for one of my friends here. So please keep that in mind. <sighs> oh yes, of course. Well, let's raise a glass and start the evening with a toast to Aku's leg. Cheers! Cheers! Congrats, you must be so happy. Congratulations, Aku. Thanks, I almost can't believe it's real. Aku, this day belongs to you, so just forget about manners, and eat as much as you want. Thanks! <laughs> I guess we should stick with less sophisticated fare from now on. This is a celebration. I'm thinking it's about time I make it feel like one. Excuse me, young man. Could you be persuaded to do me a favor? Yes, of course, sir. I need for you to arrange to have someone bring this over to my table. Whoa! What the heck? Item construct! <laughs> Special surprise just for you. Ah, Demon Lord, is this candy? Oh, it's so cute I can hardly handle it. You, would you mind doing the honors? Sure, happy to. Madam, 
I'm afraid that you and I have never met. I'm Hakuto Kunai, at your service. Dear me, I haven't even introduced myself yet. I'm Shrimp Fry Butterfly, charmed, I'm sure. Is she kidding with that name? Please, madam, would you care to sit down and join us for dessert? Wait, what are you doing? Why? Oh my, for the rumored demon lord to invite me personally. How very exciting this is. <laughs> she knows all about me and yet she still came over to talk? She must be a shrewd one. Luna, who is this madam? <sighs> I can't believe this! Now I'm hearing his repulsive voice in my head! Okay, repulsive was unnecessary, don't you think? Luna, dear, is anything wrong? Uh, no, nothing at all. I'm totally great. If you haven't figured it out, one of my skills is to communicate without being heard. Obviously, I knew that, duh. Madam is kind of the central figure for all the wives of the nobility. She has tons of connections, and she's hugely influential amongst the nobles. So you're saying you would consider her the queen of high society? Yeah, that's right. And she'd be a dangerous enemy. Good. I've got an idea. If I can somehow manage to gain her trust, then we'd have an unbeatable ally, which would be invaluable. <sighs> You see, madam, we've gathered here tonight in order to celebrate the healing of our little Aku's injury. Perhaps you would like to offer your congratulations as well. Oh my, that's just wonderful. Congratulations to you, Aku. Uh, thank you so much, that's kind of you. So tell me, is this your first time in the city, little one? It is, yes. It's beautiful. I can hardly believe I'm even here. It's just like a dream. Well, aren't you adorable? You're such a sweet and earnest young lady. Oh, thank you, madam. I know, she really is, right? I'm proud to have her as my friend. Oh, come on, stop. You're way too kind. And what do you think about our city, Mr. Demon Lord? It's truly spectacular. But it's all so straightforward and easy to understand. Compared to some of the impoverished lands I've passed through in my travels, the Holy Capital's prosperity is a wonder to behold. Oh, <laughs> you're absolutely correct. In fact, it's not at all unusual for one to hear the many lands of the kingdom compared to either heaven or hell. I don't think that could be any closer to the truth. However, I believe there might be a way to resolve that troubling disparity. Well, I would love to hear your opinion. You're obviously a wise man. It's a simple concept, actually. All we have to do is transform every last land into heaven. If we succeed, the country's problems will evaporate. It's that easy. Goodness, this seems like a rather large-scale proposition. Madam, trust me, if I was sitting at the head of this kingdom, I could get it done within a few short years. My! But come, come, enough of these boring political problems, don't you agree? Besides, there's another kind of heaven that I'd like to introduce you to. That sounds intriguing. And what exactly is this heaven you speak of? It's this right here. Some soap? Oh! That soap is seriously the best thing ever! It washes away dirt like magic and leaves your skin so clean it sparkles! Magic. Sparkling, huh? Nice assist, Luna. Hmm. It's true. <laughs> the skin of all these ladies here is dazzling. There's no denying that. I would sincerely urge you to give it a try tonight. I think you're going to be astonished at how well it actually works. I may just. Thank you so much for such a wonderfully thoughtful gift, Demon Lord. <laughs> oh, please. There's no need to thank me for such a trivial thing as that. But I am planning to open a hot spring in the village of Rami sometime in the very near future. Now that'll be a place where your entire self will be entirely revived. Revived? Well, my goodness. I appreciate a man who makes bold claims. You will find that no idea of mine is lacking in substance. Not a single one is ever just for show. And that's because every word that comes out of my mouth, I make into reality. It won't be just an ordinary bath, you see. There will be carbon dioxide baths, face baths, stone saunas, electric baths, herbal baths, salt saunas, and so much more for the guests to enjoy. Not only will it help exhaustion, stiff muscles, and cold sensitivity, but your skin is guaranteed to feel years younger when you're done. Please, I'm sold. You simply must let me come and visit. Luna. Let's keep this a secret from my sister, Oyster Fry. Oh, I'm sorry, madam. I guess that means you're still not getting along with your sister, huh? I'm in the same boat as you, I'm afraid. Sometimes sisters have a very hard time seeing eye to eye. There's an Oyster Fry, too? Get over yourself, you're both fried! <laughs> <laughs> Say 
Madness! The city is under attack! Finally some entertainment. That ought to spice this dinner party up, at least. Okay, I get it. It's a synchronized attack. I guess they're not half bad. You? You need to stay here and protect the people. While you do that, I'll snuff out turmoil. Of course, whatever you say. Wait, hold up! You can't just decide that alone! I'm totally coming with you, okay? Luna, don't you get it? It's quite possible that you're the target of this attack. There's no hope for me to protect you if you're out walking the streets, do you understand? What? Protect me? I'm perfectly capable of taking care of myself, thank you very much! Will she be okay when she's this easy to read? Aku, there's nothing to worry about if you're with you. Just try to enjoy the rest of your meal. Okay, but... Will you be alright out there, Demon Lord? <laughs> she seems kind of like a kid worried about her father. Mm -hmm. It's a sideshow. I'm just burning off some calories after dinner. For the record, you should return to your meal too, madam. I must say, you sure are a confident one, aren't you? Although, if I'm remembering what you said correctly, maybe that's due to the fact that everything you say comes true. Mm. That's exactly right. Quite frankly, it's unfortunate for these guys that I just happen to be here today. <laughs> you, if we're going to learn anything, we need to be able to move easily. So avoid weird behavior and boost our reputation? I love that you always catch on so quickly. I'm counting on you now, you. Uh, okay. Did she just stutter or something? Nah, it's you we're talking about. Now then, let me see where I should start. <laughs> to meet a demon lord this badly, I'll grant your wish. You asked for this! You dirty, rotten adventurers! Behold my ice flash! Uh, no way! You're a frozen Mekon now! Go! Snow kiss! Thanks for the save, Yukikaze. Me for victory. Victory tastes sweet, too. I highly recommend it, to be honest. Ice hands! Oh, oh, oh. Freezing up on me? Oh, that's no fun. Ice splash! Don't falter! We still outnumber them! Keep up the attack for as long as you can! This isn't looking too good. What now, Yukikaze? Dying a virgin was not part of my plan. It's pretty impressive that you can think about sex at a time like this. What's a guy like you worried for, Eddie? <laughs> That's a clown for you. Uh, Would anyone else out there care to put on a good show? My old man! We meet again. He's so dreamy. Demon Lord! <laughs> Demon Lord, huh? And you dare to stand in our way? Who do you think you're dealing with? Deal before me! That's what I do for trash like you! Enlightenment! I show you where you belong. Pulverize! Truth of the matter is, I'm completely justified in being angry at every one of you. Though I am a little grateful, too. <sighs> no, I'm not gonna die like this. My end will be a noble one. Make disaster now befall this cursed and terrible land! <sighs> Come here by a bunch of 
cutie humans? What the heck is that about? Hey, Yukikaze, that thing is a devil, right? Yeah, the Satanists summoned it here in exchange for their lives. It's not looking so good. Whatever, looks like there are lots of tasty snacks to eat. How exciting! I do believe it's time to set the table and let despair fill the air. Summon the killing field! is getting a lot worse. And of course, now I'm getting chills out of nowhere. I think the devil just used barrier magic. Meaning? It means this whole area has been trapped and closed off. We won't be able to escape. Not unless he's defeated first. That's right, it's time, kittens! Come play with Carnival! We'll have such a marvelous time! Your screams will accompany my music perfectly! Wail for me, my darlings! Sing your lovely songs! I want to savor every last note of your terror! mouth actually suits you a whole lot better. Was it you, then, you greasy dingleberry? What a disgrace. A pathetic swine with an ugly face. Your voice is putrid and your clothes are absolutely ridiculous. I'd say you were irredeemable, but now that I really look at you, you're good for a laugh. I'll kill you! <laughs> I'll be honest, this is the second time I've run into a devil. The last one unfortunately expired all too quickly. How do you think you'll fare? <laughs> For purely academic purposes, I'm planning to go no holds barred this time. You called yourself Carnival, isn't that right? You're ready for this tilt-a-whirl. Wait, monsieur! That was mistaken! I have no desire to fight you, please! Oops, just realized I forgot something kind of important. Look, whatever that important thing is, I can help you with it, okay? For real, I'll do whatever you want! No, no, please! I beg you! I don't want to be killed by a human in this place! Huh? I'm sure you've done your share of killing. You should get to experience what it's like to die for once. It's only fair, right? <laughs> what filthy fireworks. You're something else. Mister, let me buy you a drink sometime. Look, folks, when you're as good as I am, doing something like that is nothing. Old man! Huh? You've saved me two times now, but I'd like to pay you back. There's no need for that. I had my own reasons for wanting to do this, so no worries. Well, at the least, could you tell me your name, old man? Old? The me in here is still pretty young, little twerp! Sure, why not? I'm Makoto Kunai. <sighs> Why the hell would I be jealous? If you must know where my heart truly lies, I prefer heroes like that dragonkin who spend their time fighting. She's into the dragonkin, huh? Hey, how naughty. So you prefer people who have just asked, do Um, you? I think you said that wrong. That's not even close to the same words, you well, perv. Well, kinda close. Ugh, Yukikaze, I can't take it with you! What the hell? Last time on Demon Lord Retry. Experience what it's like to die for once. It's only fair, right? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Out there. They unleashed it much too early. 
What were they thinking? That damn Burge must have lost his mind. I'm not sure. I assume something unexpected must have come up. Well then, <laughs> what you must do is take that and tell them to unleash the remaining two at the Holy Castle, Tron. I'm sure even you can manage that. Filthy mixed blood that you are. Yes, sir. Get out of my sight. You're an eyesore. Turn you into my puppets and you'll fight for me until you crumble. Bubble 
Remember, she's elite enough to be called a star player. I'm sure she has her reasons for what she does. I order you to follow me! It's time to shed your blood for the chilling darkness! Give me a break. What is she even fighting against anyway? Well, judging by the looks of it, I take it you got ripped up pretty bad. Yeah. <laughs> I'm terribly sorry, sir. But Merge and the rest, all of them have been killed in battle. What? Impossible! Explain yourself now! The Demon Lord. <laughs> now that it's come to this, seems we have no choice. Yes, and may disaster befall this cursed land. <sighs> now, summon devil! Summon devil! Finally break it out. Thank you, Queen! You're the Prince of Darkness, I presume. It's just as I thought. It's simply the fate of darkness to be drawn by other darkness. The lousy holy powers keep coming one after another. Filthy little humans. 
my most prized recovery items. You should be just fine now. But the wound, it's gone. <sighs> You're a gloomy one, Rot. I just saved your life. Think you can manage one smile? Oh, right, a smile. It's been so long that I forgot how to. What in the world is that healing power? Don't tell me he's a new race of dragon. This is dangerous. Too dangerous. Well, if that's really the case, I vow on my soul to kill this dragon no matter what! Remember how to smile now? <laughs> I'll admit, you do seem happier than you did before, Run. I'm not a Run. I'm Tron. Tron, huh? Oh, that's not a name one hears every day. Mr. Zero! What are you doing? Look, not in front of everyone. Sorry, I just never want to let you go. Hey, hands off! A man and a woman should show a little more class than this. Can be helped. The dragon on your back is so freaking manly, I can't even stand it. And that chest, too. <laughs> let go of me! It's an honor to meet you, Holy Maiden Angel White. Nice to meet you, too. Come. So, what would be appropriate for me to call you? Oh, just Demon Lord's fine by me. It would seem it's become my official nickname anyway, so I might as well embrace it. So, are you truly the Demon Lord that all the old legends talk about? If that's how you want to look at it, I suppose I am, yeah. And just what is your involvement with Luna at this point? Meeting her was a disaster waiting to happen, as you can imagine. At first, I'm sure she only saw me as some evil being. However, we've been able to build a pretty wonderful relationship since then. Huh? No way! I'm ordering you to do as I say! Luna, the very definition of selfish? He must have put some kind of crazy spell on her! Tell me, are you someone who plans to bring harm to this kingdom? <sighs> That's a simple enough question to answer. See, back in my country, we have this terrific old saying, a picture is worth a thousand words. 
What it basically means is that seeing something in person is always better than just having it explained to you. That's a very good way to look at things. I would suggest that you not decide what you will about me until after you've seen my skills and achievements. My actions have a pretty strong tendency to speak for themselves, and true to form, they're always louder than my words. Is he planning some kind of invasion of the Holy Capital? By the way, there's a favor I'd like to ask of you if it's no bother. What would that be? Well, truth is, I've been thinking about doing a little research on the Seraph. So if there's a library available, I was hoping you'd let me make use of it. <gasps> Wait, why does he want to know about the Seraph? Is it to figure out her weak spot so he can kill her? He's so bold and shameless, he's actually asking permission right to my face! <laughs> you can use it as you wish. You're welcome to. Although, I hope you'll forgive me if I insist on not speaking about the Seraph myself. I see. Yes, that's perfectly fine. I've been finding it a little challenging to carry on a conversation with a sacred being such as yourself anyway. Now, it seems like a very good time to excuse myself. Thank you, this meeting seemed quite productive. Yes, I would tend to agree. It has been enlightening for me as well. Was it you who defeated the Demon King? I still don't understand how you people can call that thing a Demon King. To me, he just seemed like a cheap imitation. and some hot springs and still have extra points left over. Using the Omni Travel System command, I can travel back to an area I've gone to before instantly. <laughs> that wicked laugh can only mean one thing. Demon Lord is here! <laughs> How was it? How was your talk with the Holy Maiden? It went really well, Kenny. <laughs> <laughs> We're feeling more like father and daughter every day. I just don't get it. This angel stuff sounds like some kind of western fairy tale. Well, at least the pictures in this book are super pretty, don't you think? Yeah, if only it was meant to be a picture book. So did the angels exist from the beginning or were they created by someone? That's really the question. And why is it that they disappeared anyway? The demons they fought against seem alive and well. Huh? I really never thought about it that way before. The weirdest part is there's not a single thing written here about the Seraph. They just bail or what? Oh no, I don't think that's what happened at all. I feel sure they're watching over us from somewhere. At any rate, we've got plenty of time. We'll be able to come back here whenever we feel like it. Okay, I want to try to read as many books as I can. <laughs> um, Demon Lord? Last one, would you be willing to read it to me? Huh? Destructive Fido's Great Adventure? What is this? A long time ago, there was a mischievous dog named Fido who used his sharp teeth to destroy everything in his path. One day, the villagers decided they were tired of his destructive ways and drove him off. To make ends meet, Fido became an adventurer and set out to explore a nearby dungeon. He delved deeper and deeper into the dungeon, tearing up other adventurers' weapons and armor as he went. Ew, slimy! Fido came across a slime attacking another dog! You filthy slime! How dare you! Woof! After saving her from the slime, Fido spent the rest of the night gently nibbling her. Fido finally reached the deepest room of the dungeon, and there he discovered a trove of rare weapons, armor, and magical items. He carried all of them home with him, became a very famous dog, 
and lived happily ever after. <sighs> what the heck was that? Don't the stories in picture books usually have some sort of meaningful lesson in them or whatever? Who is the target demographic for this thing? At least it's got a cute puppy in it. And he went into a dungeon, huh? You there, uh, librarian. Yes, can I help you? Tell me something. Is it true that weapons and armor drop in dungeons the way they do in this book, or is that not a thing? Oh, yes. I have heard that people find rare ancient items from time to time. This body of mine is pretty much impervious to physical attacks, so that's good. But my weak point is magic because that stuff didn't exist in Infinity Game. So it's a brand new thing for me. I definitely need to find some way to raise my magic resistance by a lot as soon as possible. Aku, go back to the end without me for now. I've got something I need to take care of. Okay, see you later. Listen, I'm a pretty busy man, despite what you might think. I don't have time to play hide-and-seek! Wait, you're... I found you! I know this kid. She's the one I saved as Zero, isn't she? Well... What is it you want from me, Runt? Yep, you talk like Zero and have the same color. Color? Wait, back up. What are you talking about? I just see everything as a color. Even emotions and souls. What, is that some new form of fortune telling? Go bug someone else. <laughs> Bring out Zero right now! Sorry, I have no idea what you're talking about. Wrong person. Do it! You have to bring him out right now! Wait a minute, am I missing something here? I mean, what are you getting at? Zeros... <laughs> well, it's just that you're the one who saved my life, so I want to see you. I've got no idea how old this kid is, but I can't just let someone Zero saved end up dying out in the streets. That's definitely not okay. Fine, you win, but there are conditions if you meet Zero. You gonna be okay with that? Of course. I'll do anything. Listen, I'll tell you what. If you obey my commands and work hard for me, I'll let you meet him. What kind of thing do you think I'd have to do as work? Do I have to kill lots of people? What the hell? Why does everyone here have the wrong idea about me? Oh, then what do I do? Soon enough, we're going to feel short-staffed no matter how many people we have. If you could use your strength and color thing to lend me a hand, I think I could arrange a meeting. How does that sound? Good, Runt? My name's really Tron. It's definitely not Runt. <laughs> a runt is a runt. Let's go. Okay. Alright. I take it everyone's ready to roll. Let's get going. Hey, Chief, who's that little girl with you? Uh, <gasps> you have such beautiful hair. <laughs> Whoa, what are you? For real, there's devil in that girl. There's devil in her? That's too bad, because we're gonna need her and Rabbi. So just deal with it. A holy maiden and devilkin? You're asking too much. I think if we can manage to turn that village around, your sisters will see you in a totally different light. <laughs> I don't know. First of all, those who are standing at the pinnacle of a kingdom, <sighs> they should really have the capacity to deal with all types of people. If you only ever see things in black and white, you'll never move forward in this life. What is this? Why are you preaching at me? I'm just saying I have high expectations, that's all. Mm. Fine, all right, then go ahead. Be warned. I won't be this sweet if she does something bad. Mm. You, are you able to omni-travel now? I am, Chief. Incredible. It feels like something holding me down was removed. Everyone, come here and grab onto me. We're jumping to Rabbi Village. <laughs> you... 
Couldn't you make the jump yourself? It's nonsense to consume 60 power when we have the option of only using 30, though, Chief. Well, you do have a point. <clears throat> Here we go. Omni Travel, Rabbi Village. Wow, that was amazing! Are you kidding me? How'd we manage to get back to my territory in the bare blink of an eye? You, I want to start construction right away. Right, understood. Hey, look! It's Black Soup Man <gasps> Bunny. The pulley wheel and the fertilizer help so much! Huh? Just wait. I'll turn this village around. By the time I'm done, it's gonna be raining gold around here. <sighs> I guess this spot will have to do. Time for rare item creation. First aid kit. Base upgrade. Field hospital. Hey, Chief. Would you like to go inside and check things out together? Good call. There's no electricity. Yet everything seems to be running just fine. Well, is it good to go? Yeah, we could even start today. But what are your thoughts on how we should deal with charging people? This is just to have something in place, but let's start by assigning coins to values that we're familiar with. And if it ends up being wrong, then we can always adjust it in the future. I like your style. With this world having so many different values and cultures, we don't have much choice but to boldly take a shot in the dark. Well, let's see. Based on my experience thus far, copper's 100 yen, Giant copper is a thousand, silver's ten thousand, and gold's a hundred K. And the elusive giant gold coin is worth around two million. There's also something called a holy lambda coin, but depending on the season and what the market does, it changes value. Regarding the prices for treatment, I want you to care for the poor, but don't charge them more than they can afford. Trying to collect money from people who simply don't have it is an enormous waste of time. As for the nobles, charge as much as you want. <laughs> right. Sounds like a plan. We'll help the poor and fleece the rich, which means we'll gain the support of the common people. You do realize that you're taking the exact opposite approach of the Great Empire. Nothing's more boring to me than treading down a well-beaten path. Always feels a little more like going backwards. Yes, we have that in common. Somehow I just knew our minds and hearts were on the same page. Okay, I'll admit that was oddly cute, but seriously, has she always been this way? Base, rare item creation, Walled Springs. Right next to the hospital, Hot Springs, baby! Not bad if I say so myself. Three massive and magnificent floors of fun. Carbon dioxide bath, vase bath, stone sauna, electric bath, herbal bath, even one outdoors and a salt sauna to top it off. A great hall and fully equipped dining room with beautiful lodging on the second and third floors. And when it comes to Japanese hot springs, you know you gotta have bamboo. It's making me miss home. Wow, that sure came out of nowhere. Huh? It's unbelievable, Bunny. Those two are stylish enough and easy on the eyes. They can work reception. When you finish your work today, I want you to assemble all the villagers and bring them here. Do you understand? Okay, but why are we bringing them, huh? Well, my thought is that in order for you to be the best host for our guests, it's important for everyone to experience it first as guests yourselves. <laughs> in other words, you get some bathing time. Bathing? But only wealthy nobles can afford luxuries like that bunny. Right. In this world, people are lucky to wipe themselves off with a damp cloth. Should I open up a bathhouse for commoners, then? It's doable with the high-level item Conda River. If we charge three copper coins, I have no doubt it would bring in customers by the droves. By the way, we'll also need to destroy and rebuild your houses in the very near future. Oh, I might have a problem with that! Hop. Black Suit Man, I thought you were nice, but this is tyranny, buddy! Who are you calling Black Suit Man? You got something to say about my wardrobe? 
Before we know it, we'll be building both legit and unlicensed casinos and anything else we can possibly think of to entertain all those rich nobles out there with more money in their pockets than they know what to do with! <laughs> Black Suit Man's scary thump. Black Suit Man has broken money. And no matter how luxurious the Hot Spring Resort is, if the employees don't do their jobs well, it won't amount to much. Among the eight aides, there was one standout genius who could not only immediately master whatever you threw at him, but also consistently produced better results than any of the others. He's got a real nurturing side, so he can watch kids no problem. Also, being a gun specialist with combat prowess and crazy skills like his, he'll easily be able to protect Rabbi Village even when I'm not around. He and you actually get along pretty well, too. Admin privileges. Aid is summoned. Isami Tahara, I command you to appear before me. Well, if it isn't the chief... Aid summon! No more messing around. Isami Tahara, I command you to appear before me. It isn't the chief. Wait, where the hell are we? Yeah, that's Tahara, all right. <clears throat> I'm glad you're here, Tahara. Let's go inside. Find a good place where we can sit down and talk. Oh, sure. Get it. Is this the new Infinity Game Arena or something? Looks like they blew tons of money as usual, huh? Yeah, well, I feel like there's something I should mention. You're no longer in a world where the Great Empire is even known to exist. Sorry, what? What is it then? Seriously, you saying it's some sort of fantasy world? Like I'm in a damn anime or something? Yeah, to be blunt, it's just like that. There it is. Tahara's head is churning away, I can tell. He's coming up with a whole slew of theories and ideas about what's going down right now. Well, I know there's no way that you're pranking me. That kind of thing just isn't your style. So you know, you is here. <gasps> that mad woman is here?! You're kidding me, right?! I'm gonna need you to cooperate with her. Sorry, did you happen to drop your left arm? Or perhaps maybe your right? Both. I lost both. You would have feared. Well, that seems like quite the predicament. But tell you what, I'll do you a little favor just for today. <laughs> Oops, that's my bad. It looks like I unfortunately mixed up your arms. Are you serious? This is not a laughing matter! She's a pretty one, but damn scary. Why'd I decide to program her that way anyway? Hey, Chief. You mind if I clear something up? Sure, what is it? What you said before about the Great Empire, are you serious about it not existing in this world? There's no doubt in my mind. Not even one. <sighs> well, let me tell you, if this is truly a world without the Great Empire, I really couldn't be any happier. One more question for you. What exactly do you plan to do in this place? Sorry, but I can't say much about it at this point. Although, I will admit I'm seriously considering heading in the opposite direction of the Great Empire. Yeah? Well, whatever. Bottom line, if it weren't for you, I know Manami and I would have died like dogs. Ah, yes, Manami. The little sister Tahara's always been so fiercely protective of. Big Brother! Manami! Big Brother! Manami! Big Brother! Manami! So do we have a plan of action for the time being, Chief? Well, first we have to manage this dirt poor village. And we've got our work cut out for us because it's only three draws or a hospital, hot springs, and a bathhouse. You'll need to do things that'll continue developing the area, like job training for the residents, overseeing the new businesses, managing any trouble, negotiating with nobles, developing a child care program... what else? Are you being serious? I'm one man, I'm not some freaking robot! 
Yeah, but you're a damn genius. I know you can do this. Come on, it's me talking, so you know it's true. <laughs> hey, you okay? It, it felt like I'd been zapped. What the hell's going on? You think something's wrong with you? Have you take a look. Yeah, no thanks. The day I let that psycho touch me is the day I end up in little bitty pieces. Come now, that's not nice, Tahara. <laughs> ah! The mad woman! Oh, I mean, hello again? How nice to see you. Long time no see. What a treat. Demon Lord, who's this new person with you? I won't lie, he looks like a big pervert to me. Are you one of the Demon Lord's lackeys? Such a pretty color. You must be very kind. Don't know if I'd say that. Now then, all that's left are the preparations to welcome Madam. My goodness, what kind of magical device is this? Hey, don't get too excited quite yet. Look, it even has a second key for you to wind up. Hmm. I'm just curious, is this another item of yours from overseas? Yes, that's right. In my country, letting this play on cold winter nights while sipping on some nice wine is a common practice for the more refined folks. It doesn't get any better than that, really. Well, I must say, it truly is a masterpiece. It's hard to believe. The fact that it's so easy, I mean. Who knew you could enjoy music without even a musician? Well, for balls and high society stuff, of course you'd still need those. However, if you're all alone in your room, or maybe hosting a small informal group of people, this is much less invasive and by far the smarter choice. Also, it's a lot more convenient to carry around with you. It's not the most practical idea to march around with an orchestra trailing behind you. So, what would an item like this be valued at back where you're from? If you don't mind, I'd actually prefer if you determine the value this time, Mr. Manon. What do you say? Uh, oh no, I'm not even sure how to begin judging the value of this truly marvelous device. If I price it too low, then I may end up losing this business altogether. In your country, I imagine this must be a pretty expensive item, am I right? Well, that depends, because typically when it comes to valuing art and other items of this nature, their worth can be very subjective, not unlike the whole beauty is in the eye of the beholder thing, you know. Shoot, I knew it. That means he's testing me right. If I am being perfectly honest, when you first offered me this item for auction, I couldn't even begin to imagine how much it must be worth. I've never seen anything quite like it. So, you're saying you believe it has tremendous value? Are you kidding? Of course I do! There are plenty of people who'd be interested in a magical item like this. You just have to know where to find them. Good to know. In that case, what's the least you think it might sell for if it were to go up for auction? Just give me your best guess. It's time. I feel it. This is the moment when he'll make his decision. If I screw up now, then I'll bet Mr. Konai will take his device to some other store owner. I'll lose out on more than just this. He'll end up taking all of his future business to someone else, too. If it were me, I'd start at no less than 15 gold coins. Someone who can't afford that much has no business at an auction anyway. And it's a waste of time to start any lower than that. You have a remarkably discerning eye. I was right to put my faith in you, my friend. Oh, Mr. Kunai, we're so excited to have you! Give him a bingo welcome, ladies! Welcome, welcome to our, our shop, shop, sir! Thanks. So, I'm going to need some outfits made. We're looking at 20 of each. Does that sound doable? One moment, please, while I look. Hmm. Let's see. The tuxedos on their own shouldn't be too big of a deal, but is he really serious about making these suits and tights for women? What a tantalizing design choice! I mean, who does stitch tights like this? Seriously? No one! That's who! Sure, we'll be able to make these with no problem. That's great news. Just so you understand, I'm going to need them done as quickly as possible. And as soon as you finish them up, it's important that they're sent directly to Rabbi Village. I do understand wanting them done quickly, but I'm afraid these will take some time to make. I'm prepared to compensate you handsomely for the extra rush. <laughs> and, of course, this is only the first installment. If you complete the work quickly, I can even add another two to that total. Can you do it? I hope the answer is yes. Of course we can! I swear! We'll work day and night until every last stitch is complete! That's very...
very good to hear. I'd ask that you begin work at once in that case. Everyone! It's time for battle! Go on, get started! Right. Thank, Thank you, you, Mr. Mr. Demon, Demon Lord! <laughs> Bread, milk, vegetables, meat, and eggs. Good. Now food will get delivered directly to Rabbi every so often, which is what I wanted. The expense is definitely added up, but I've still got three gold coins left over after all of this. We should easily be able to manage things for a while on that much. So everything's more or less ready now. It's funny how different I feel about these two avatars. Like, Kunai's the house I grew up in, and Zero's the room I rented when I moved out. Looking back, I'm remembering how much I used him during the heyday of the game. When it comes down to it, we've been partners for about ten years. What's this feeling swelling up from deep inside? That persistent urge to crush the strong and help the weak? To face my opponents no matter who they are? That fierce desire to be a hero which simply won't be denied? It's as if he's really a... No, like, I'm a dragon after all. Look at me. I'm a beast. I'll bust everything in my way. I'm the strongest one alive. Just wait, piece of shit empire. I'm really gonna need to figure out how to revert it well. job. Now the only thing left to do is put it into practice. Let's begin. Whoa, whoa, hold up. Did you forget? I said you should sweep up the trash before you start brushing, remember? Forget that and you'll end up making a bigger mess. Right, I'm sorry, Mr. Tahara. It's fine. Mistakes happen. Repeating the same mistake is what you want to avoid. That's lazy. And it means you haven't learned anything. Always keep learning and you'll succeed. Resort, huh? I admit I had my doubts, but now it's growing on me. Of course, it helps that you're actually bunny people. These are the most embarrassing clothes ever. Just kill me now, huh? You guys are perverts, bunny. I think you'll get used to it. Try shaking your butts if you want extra tips. Are you kidding me, huh? No bunny for you, buddy. Anyway, it's time to review how to greet customers. <laughs> Give them a nice firm bow, then hold it for three seconds. And don't forget to smile and speak clearly. Hmm. Thank you so much for coming to see us, huh? Welcome, thank you for joining us, Bunny. Better. Manami would look so cute in a bunny suit. Thanks for coming to visit, Big Bro! <laughs> Allow me to welcome you to Rabbi, madam. Well, aren't you perfect as usual? And my, what a charming little village. It looks different than the rumors led me to believe. 
Oh, this is nothing. We've actually only just started on these renovations. Give it another month or two and I guarantee you won't even believe your eyes, madam. Come back then and you'll feel like you've died and gone directly up to heaven. I have to admit, everything you've showed me thus far has truly lived up to your word. It's this right here. So, so? Oh! That soap is seriously the best thing ever! It washes away dirt like magic and leaves your skin so clean it sparkles! Magic. Sparkling, huh? That soap was a real hit. Oh, so this is the village you were talking about, madam. Hold it right there, Grimps. I told you to wait till I called for you. Well, you see, old folks like me don't really like waiting. Madam, might I ask who this gentleman is? If you must know, this old fool causing nothing but trouble is Commander Sambo. As you can tell, he doesn't see very well. I only brought him along to show him a good time, since the general assumption is that he doesn't have many years left. You know your mouth is just as poisonous as ever, madam. Don't you think you should show your elders more respect? Speaking of mouth, hush! I'm sorry, sir. It sounds as if your condition is quite serious. But perhaps we might be able to do something to help you. Oh, I guess you must be the man that madam was talking about. As she said, I'm Commander Sambo, former retainer to head soldier martial arts. Arts? Who was that again? Oh, the renowned master arts you mean. This'll be fun. I can imagine the tales of your exploits are great and plentiful. Yes, but several years ago, a magical beast unfortunately took both my eyes. I decided to go ahead and retire because I'm not much used to anyone anymore. It must have been really tough for you. It just so happens one of the folks on my team is an exceptional doctor. I'd be surprised if she couldn't heal your eyes altogether. Oh, you're not jerking my chain, right? If you'd like, I'll take you to her right now. Please do. Even if there's only a slim chance, this is more hope than I've felt in a long time. Goodness, you're being a bothersome old man. I'm very sorry about this. We definitely didn't mean to make more work for you. It's no problem in the slightest, madam. Go ahead, Tahara. You can take him inside. This way, Master Sambo. Thank you. You. Yep, on it, Chief. Hello, welcome to you both. I'm glad to have you here. Look at this place. It feels like I've stumbled into another world or something. Go on, Gramps. Won't you just have her take a look already? Would you back off, you meddling woman? I'm not likely to run away from her, am I? Then get on with it, you senile old man! Master Sambo, are you ready to begin the examination? I'd like to say I'm sorry first for exposing you to this awful thing. It's the venom of a scarecrow. That's what did this to me. Okay. These days, I can only see the outline of a person, and that's on a really good day. I can't tell you how grateful I'd be if you could make it any better. Please, rest assured. In the country I came from, we have a medicine that treats your symptoms, and I think you're a perfect candidate. Oh, my goodness. You're really serious? Yes. Please wait a moment. Interesting. She plans to cure him simply through medicine. Now that I think about it, she's probably right. It'd be a bit much to expose them to use Hand of God. real slow. Oh. Oh. I can see everything! You did it! My eyes are totally back to normal! Gramps, are you completely sure? Oh, madam, you fattened up a bit since the last time I saw you. What have you been eating to get yourself that big? Would you kindly shut up, you walking corpse? <laughs> I can hardly believe it. Thank you so much. Now that you're healed, you can go back to your old post again. I'm sure Arts would be delighted to see you. That's right! Lord Arts, your loyal Sambo is coming back to serve you! Oh, I'm so sorry for having caused such a big ruckus. I'll be happy to pay for all the damages, of course. This is... it's a holy lambda coin. Its value depends on the market, but I've heard they're worth a hundred giant gold coins at the very least. 
So you're sure? Of course it's fine. That stubborn old blockhead is indebted to me thanks to you and your medicine, and that's worth a lot. Truly. So much more than any number of holy lambda coins, that's for certain. Well, if you insist. You know, I have a strong feeling that you and I are going to become great friends. What a coincidence. I think so, too. <laughs> <laughs> I was just imagining you talking in your sleep before. I don't know what you mean. <laughs> Whatever you say, I'm counting on you, Luna. You've got it. Madam, you are about to behold the main attraction of our Hot Springs Resort. I've already witnessed a man's eyesight being miraculously restored to him. What other surprises do you have in store for me? Well, you'll see for yourself soon. What took you so long, you slowpoke? <laughs> oh. Come on, hurry! Goodness, you're even bushier than usual. What's gotten into you today? I'll leave you ladies to it, then. I hope you have a relaxing experience. I'm sure I will. Keep going, madam. We're almost there. Welcome to the public bath! Telling me this entire area is for bathing? Let's start by rinsing off. My, some sort of magic. What is this contraption? A shower. Nice, huh? Please allow me to wash your back, huh? I've never felt so clean before. It's like dirt I didn't even know was there is being washed away. I know. Now that I know what it's like, I don't think I can live without it. I would be happy to wash your hair, Bunny. Oh. We'll get you started with a cleansing shampoo. Then, after that, we'll apply some conditioner to moisturize your scalp and repair the damage, Bunny. Oh. This is wonderful. We could call it a day now when I'd be happy. Oh, don't be ridiculous, madam. I haven't even begun to show off my... I mean, that is... There's still so much more for you to experience here. Just as self-centered as ever. I'm glad to see you haven't changed. Enough of this. We're moving on now. Coming, dear. Well, what do you think of this, madam? It's called a carbon dioxide bath. There's certainly something peculiar about this water. It's so strange. But so good. My body feels light and free, like I could almost float up into the sky. Yep, and there's more. Splash a little water on your face and tell me what you notice. So smooth. It's like a baby's bottom. We're just warming up. You ready to try the next one? No, slow down, Luna. Running like this is hardly dignified. This one is the herbal bath. What does the scent remind you of? It's a vibrant woodsy aroma. If I close my eyes, I would think we were in a forest. Pretty amazing, right? I don't know how he did it. <laughs> oh, I see. You sound like a woman very much in love, Luna. In love? <laughs> what are you talking about? No use pretending, dear. I can see right through you. You're positively smitten with the demon lord. That ridiculous man if I'm not smitten with anyone! Certainly not that guy! I hate to tell you this, but he'll be a tricky one to catch. You've certainly got your work cut out for you. I'm afraid your feminine charms leave something to be desired, dear. 
think of this place as our castle. Madam gets no say in what we do. This is our territory. Some nobles not calling the shots. That had set a dangerous precedent. Got it. You say something like that again, I'll kill you. Remember the Nightless City incident? I'm sorry. It was a careless remark. Chief's planning to go in the opposite direction of the Great Empire. I'm sure he told you that, too. He did. According to him, going down a well-beaten path is boring. Tell me, how do you feel about that? The thing is, Tahara, I was touched by the world fault. Oh, great. There you go again with the crazy talk. What's more, I've begun feeling the presence of God within the Chief. Okay, now you've really lost it. Good one. What'd you used to say? Something about unlocking the body's mysteries? Is this the new wacky catchphrase you've decided to go with? No, it's not. As time goes on, that feeling only gets stronger. Surely you can sense the truth too, if only vaguely. <laughs> I'm not quite sure why we're doing this when I'm perfectly healthy. Because everyone needs regular checkups to make sure their bodies are functioning properly. What if there is something wrong and you simply don't realize it yet? Okay, that's fair enough. You have a point. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, actually, I think I'm gonna go. Uh, yes. Promise I'll come by if I get so much of a sniffle, though. Sorry. But you mustn't go, Chief. Your examination isn't over yet. <laughs> you might have a fever. Your chest is so hot. And so hard. And so smooth. Oh, gee. Really, I'm done. I've got pressing business matters to see to. I'm sure there's nothing wrong with me. Oh, no fair. like an outdoor bath in a fantasy world. I finally found you. Damn it, Brunt! What the hell are you doing out here? You deserve to be pampered a little, so let me wash that long hair of yours while you relax. Would you get out of here, Runt? This is the men's bath! Stop calling me a runt. Use my name for once. <laughs> if the others saw you out here, they'd never let me hear the end of it. Leave already! You're not even wearing a towel! I don't have a problem with Zero seeing me like this. I am not Zero! And don't ever call me that with people around! Uh, Alright. If that's what Zero wants, this will just be our little secret. Enough about Zero! Come on, I'm getting you out of here! Infinity game, the dining room would be fully stocked, and steam buns would automatically appear in the guest rooms. I guess we're out of luck as far as food is concerned. The toiletries all seem to be replenishing on their own, though, so I guess that's something at least. You do smell fresh and herby. I do? Really? <laughs> Guess you're sleeping with me again. Paco! <sighs> you were supposed to be my snuggle buddy tonight, remember? Hey, keep your voice down. She's already asleep. You filthy, rotten pervert! What exactly are you up to in here? I don't know what kind of gross stuff you might be imagining, but I'm trying to get some sleep after a long day of work. Fine. 
you leave me no choice. I'll have to sleep in here and keep an eye on you. This might be the softest bed I've ever felt in my life. I'm never leaving. <laughs> hey, Hamster yourself! You totally tried to grab my butt just now, didn't you? How many times do I have to tell you I have no interest in grabbing your butt? <sighs> There's no use denying it. Clearly, I'll have to keep a watch on this naughty hand of yours. Come on. It doesn't make a very good pillow. It's all hard and I can feel your veins throbbing. I know you could have found a better way to phrase that. say when you tell me that, so I'll just focus on keeping a blank face. I mean, even after I wake up, my entire down below is still on fire. Would you please give me a break? It's way too early in the day for this crap. to know what these girls' names are, I'm in trouble. I mean, it's been so chaotic lately that it's understandable, I guess, but kind of makes me wish this world used name tags or something. Huh. There's a thought. Name tags aren't a bad idea at all. And it might be lucrative little business for Rabby, which could be cool, considering all they're known for now is carrots. So tell us, handsome, where have you been lately? Hmm? Well, I've basically set up a base in Rabi Village, and we're working to revamp it. Oh, so it's true. I'd heard that, but I thought it was too weird. Then what brings you here to the capital? I need to ask the Adventurer's Guild about a couple of things. Wait, the Guild? What is it you need to know? Uh, it's regarding the dungeons up in the north. I actually want to ask about what items ward against magic, but that's awkward. I hate to tell you, but the Guild won't be able to help much with things outside the country. But Yuki Kaze can teach you what you need to know. Hey, McFlurry Pants, you want to stop flapping your jaws willy-nilly seeing as you're chatting with a freaking demon lord? You know what you should do, Mikan? Go home and rethink your choices, including that outfit, Miss Loincloth. Are you kidding me? Care to talk about that wannabe witchy hat you've got going on up there? Because okay, so I guess these two are Mikan and Yuki Kaze. That shouldn't be hard to remember. But let's give them one of those couple mashup nicknames anyway. Yuki Mikan. Anyways, old man. There's a favorite place of mine pretty close by. I'd really love to treat you for all you've done. I believe I told you before. There's no need to pay me back for that. Yes. You said that you had your own reasons. That's right, I did. Her skin really is like porcelain, isn't it? It makes her seem mystical and, I don't know, ethereal or something. It may not be lunchtime yet, but we could at least get a drink. Oh, a drink, huh? Oh, it's been a while since I craved a drink. <laughs> it's probably helped that I've hardly had a moment to myself lately. Come on, this way. I'll just follow you from behind. We aren't in kindergarten. We don't need the old hands to stay together. Oh, please, if you don't, I'll get lost. Seriously? Oh, man, that was a close one. I definitely almost said that very out loud. So I'm supposed to believe that while she looks like the kind of girl who spends all day in the library, she's actually a big old airhead? Mikan, lead the way. <sighs> Fine, then. It's easier than arguing. Come on, I'll take you. This day freaking sucks. I'm 
getting a strong sense that this Mekon person isn't exactly a huge fan of mine. Then again, walking around with a name like Demon Lord probably doesn't inspire a lot of love. But it's fine. I just need to put up with it until business in Rappy Village finally takes off. Rays of affection, a labyrinth of love in my heart. Please, no! What is she talking about? Barkeep, we need three ales. And we brought you a new customer. Look at that! Nikon's back! It's not often you bring along someone besides... Huh? Oh, what's up? Does she know me from somewhere? I wonder if she got caught up in all the chaos the other day. You brought the demon lord everyone's been talking about. This is exciting. Oh, is that really you? In that case, come sit with us. I'll buy the next round. Wait, what? Well, who's this guy? Are you kidding me, you idiot? He's the one who blew Carnival into smithereens. Go grab the rest of the place. I need to see this. Hey, old man, I got us a table. Here we go. Thanks for waiting. I want you to know every shop in the area is grateful for what you've done. Your drinks are all on the house today, so you might as well enjoy it. <laughs> well, in that case, I see no reason why I shouldn't start drinking. I mean, we can do the talking afterwards. <laughs> Wait, what are you doing? What do you mean I'm helping you drink? Time out! Is this some kind of shady hostess bar? First of all, who needs someone to help them drink? If I'm that drunk already, I don't even belong here! Second of all... Ah, oh, that's creepy as hell! Forgive me, but I'd really rather drink on my own. Well, had to try. This is so good. Oh, man! This is the best! It makes all that hard work these past few days seem totally worth it! <laughs> Okay, why is she drinking my ale when she clearly has one of her own? Uh, it went so deep, all the way down my throat. Could you not say things like that? Yes, everything that comes out of her mouth is completely ridiculous. Indirect kiss tastes bubblicious. Look, I'm sorry, but I'm gonna need you to use real words. <laughs> Yuki Kaze sure never changes, does she? Here, thought you might like something to munch on. Oh, nice. Let's see here. It's so normal. Normal? That's it? You can do better than that, considering it's all free. Sorry, I didn't mean any offense. I tried something similar in Yahoo, and it wasn't very good at all. So this was a pleasant surprise, I guess. Oh, now I see what you meant. You made the mistake of assuming that place could ever be compared to this one. <laughs> I'm starting to get the sense that this bar owner is pretty damn good at what she does. <laughs> Does this girl only eat food that other people have already put in their mouths? Uh, his old man lips have touched this, and it tastes so yummy. Didn't I tell you to quit saying weird stuff? Uh, you'll find it's the only way Yukikaze knows how to roll. Just give it up. <sighs> oh, hold on, could it be that she's not actually a total airhead, but in fact a huge pervert? I need to do something before this gets any more wrong. Oh, yes! <laughs> so... If you don't mind, I'm gonna get right to the point. The truth is, I could really use your help. Tell me about the adventurer system around here. I can't believe I'm sitting here chatting with the Demon Lord. But considering he saved our butts twice now, I guess I don't have much choice. I'm not sure exactly what to tell you about the adventurer system. I mean, we fight monsters, earn rewards, and I don't know, I guess, find lost treasure in ruins and dungeons? The guild accepts lots of various requests, which they pass along to adventurers, and then they get paid a finder's fee. Oh, right. Another thing adventurers do is take body parts off of monsters and sell them to the guild. The cleaner the specific piece is, the better the price. Also, all adventurers are given official ranks. Yeah, and the higher your rank, the better your working terms are and the better they treat you. So, guilds with skilled and experienced adventurers tend to make out like bandits. That's why the guilds always compete for them. That seems pretty similar to professional sports players. If you're good enough, teams scout you hard and try to entice you by offering tons of money. The best players have their pick of whichever team throws the most money at them. Uh, but when money is tight, some folks pick up mercenary work. Mercenaries, huh? So, for those not skilled enough, you pretty much do whatever it takes to get by. 
In that way, this world isn't so very different from mine. Even in dungeons, sometimes monsters are hard to come by. Well, it certainly doesn't sound like a job with much security. It's not like they work in an office. They can't count on a monthly salary or benefits or any kind of bonus, ever. They're basically self-employed workers who voluntarily put their lives on the line. In wartime, like right now, some find themselves without anything to do. So, times are tough. Yeah, I'd say so. It's much harder to get into the northern countries. There are spies and agents everywhere. From the way you talk, I take it there are times of peace too, right? The warring has actually been going on for a while. But there's profit to be made if they can keep dragging it out. If there's a war all year, trade and crops might not recover. And that's the best case scenario. I feel sure it would end everyone in no time. I got more out of this than I was expecting to. Thank you so much. As long as it's you, I'll tell you anything you want to know. Ah, <laughs> uh, is this me? Or is this a body boundary issue? This feels like the wrong kind of friendly. <laughs> So I've been wondering, what sorts of things do people usually discover in the dungeons, anyway? Um, it could really be anything. Weapons and armor are probably the most common. As far as those go, there are five different categories. So, anything made from your basic metal and leather are simply referred to as normal. Whereas solid items are made from monster fangs, pelts, scales, and other fun things like that. But unless you're skilled, those are pretty tough to make. Then, of course, you've got high-end items, which are made with special materials or rare metals. Only dwarves can build those. It's impossible for a human. The next one I don't know a whole bunch about, but there are uniques that only a handful of S-rank adventurers wield. Finally, there are items called legendaries. That's what the Holy Maiden's hammer and staves are. Wow. I guess, as messed up as she is, she's still a Holy Maiden. We try to find unidentified items, too, and you can name them yourself. Oh, well, that actually sounds pretty intriguing. We should really start brainstorming names for our precious little baby. We're not newlyweds! God, I couldn't help myself! It's no use! She freaks me out and knocks me completely off balance, and I do not mean that in a good way! Then again, they're both teaching me a lot of useful stuff. There's just one more thing I need to make sure of. Tell me this, is it possible to find any decent items sold in shops? Those items that are carried all over are mass-produced. They aren't usually good quality. Couldn't you get better items as long as you have the money, though? Like armor that defends against magic, or sword strong enough to slice through scales? To defend against level 4 and 5 magic, it needs to be unique level. But why would you need that? I bet a weapon of yours could take down any opponent. Interesting, but I need to go confirm all this information with my own eyes. Fortunately, most of the village preparations are complete, and Tahara can easily take care of what's left. Honestly, leaving everything to him will most likely produce better results anyway. <laughs> the North, huh? Well, I think I'll have to go there myself. Hey, listen. If you're going north, then I really want you to take me with you. Take you? Despite how I look, I'm a B-rank adventurer. I'd be helpful. It's true. I could definitely use some guidance from someone who's had legit experience in this world. You and Tahara are busy with the village, so they can't come. And bringing the kids along is totally out of the question. Plus, Tron might be persecuted if she tries to leave Rabbi. All right, then. If it really isn't any trouble, I think I will take you up on that. As with anything, I should learn from those who have experience. <sighs> Just leave it to me. You won't regret it. Oh, man, she's the weirdest thing, but sometimes I really am struck by what a beautiful little person she is. With my tough demeanor and her sweet persona, I feel like there's no way anyone will give us a hard time. Back now and I'll throw in Mekon as an extra. Don't randomly add me to your party! And who the hell are you calling extra? Oh, I was counting on you too. Well, don't count on me! You guys can go all the way by yourselves! You said go all the way. Mekon, you're such a naughty girl. Ah, will you ever just shut up? I cannot put this off a moment longer. Hear me, Seraph. I must take the Omega Staff. That beautiful, sacred object. Oh, please, forgive me. 
I need one of the miracles the Omega Staff makes possible. Instant movement within the Kingdom of Holy Light. All the magic in this staff will be consumed and used to bolster my magical power. With the magic circle in this room, the miracle can at last be employed. Oh, Seraph, please give me your power. I must rescue her. Not just because she's a holy maiden, but because she's my precious little sister. <laughs> Whether I have to fight or negotiate with him, as long as she remains his hostage, then I won't have the freedom I need in order to act. Demon Lord, I will not allow you to have your way. Seraph's bound now!
And I would like to believe you don't fall into either of those two groups. <laughs> I need to calm down! If I do something that inadvertently makes you scream and someone hears it, my name and reputation will be destroyed! It's like riding on a crowded train, for example. Why is it that for no damn reason at all, people automatically assume that if you're a man, you have to be a bad guy? They can't throw me in jail for something stupid like ogling a holy maiden, can they? That'd be ridiculous! Shit! Why can't I just take a bath without some kind of trouble following me into the water? What's a holy maiden doing in this village anyway? And did the men's bath of all places? Oh no! Is this some kind of honey trap? Wait, even if they had set a trap for me like that somehow, there's no way a woman who's considered the pinnacle of the kingdom would lower herself to participate! If you've traveled all this way to find me, then I assume it concerns some matter of great importance. And believe it or not, I am actually willing to lend you an open ear. A matter of importance? I'm here because of what you've done to me. Before we go there, I find your appearance incredibly vexing. <sighs> I recommend you cover up with this. <sighs> Wait! Are you saying you were staring at me naked? How about you just go ahead and get into the bath already, okay? You're a very important person. If you were to catch a cold, the whole kingdom would suffer. sense of release. 
It's highly restorative and can help you get your strength and vitality back so you can face another day. Sets you free? From life's pressures? The pleasant feeling you're experiencing in this water is the answer to everything. Uh, are you saying that I should drink that beverage? Are you really so frightened of the demon lord that you'd refuse my hospitality? You are the pinnacle of the kingdom and this display of cowardice and overcaution might be one of the reasons this land is in such terrible disarray, don't you think? You have no right to speak to me in such a disrespectful manner. Besides, if you believe that you can poison me so easily, you're mistaken. Angel Spoon! If you ask me, the worst poison in this entire kingdom is the people who are in charge of running it. They don't care about the poor and hungry masses living their miserable lives. They just turn their backs on them. They don't lift a finger to address the problem. Nor do they feel the need to develop a plan to offer aid to the people who suffer. In my country, we call people like this... Incompetent despots. I can't even argue. Well, from your perspective, I can see how it might seem that way. Witnessing a young woman in my position spinning her wheels, it must appear so absurd. Her beauty alone could stop men dead in their tracks, like some femme fatale. Although, I guess in this world, they'd probably just call her an angel. <sighs> this is a popular drink from my country. It's been beloved by my people for centuries now. Say a direct kiss. What are you, a child? Only a young girl would say something so immature. I hope you can forgive me. Yeah, I'm kind of winging it here. I pray my big sister isn't always unwanted. I'm sorry for being so immature. <laughs> but so what? I am young, you know? Uh, hold on. I'm not saying acting young is bad or anything. In fact, women who seem innocent are typically really popular. I think you should be proud of who you are. What? How could I ever be proud of something like that? You're sitting there ridiculing and laughing at me for it! I'm not ridiculing you at all. I mean, I for one find your stubbornness impressive. I'm sick and tired of hearing about how hard-headed I am! Don't treat me like I'm some intractable brat! Gah, I walked into a minefield! There's no saving my ass now! So it's come to this! Huh? What in the world is that? Because you have upheld the Holy Maiden name, I would be honored to bestow this upon you. I only ask that you never bring shame upon this halo. And please remember, I am not your enemy. I returned you home safely. 
I'll let you assess my actions and draw your own conclusions. But just so we're clear, you're to tell no one about what happened today. Of course. Even if he hadn't warned me not to, I wouldn't dare speak of this to anybody. News of what he did might well plunge the entire kingdom into chaos. That a miracle left behind by the Seraph could be used by somebody else. That there exists a person who can bestow a halo upon others when it was believed that only angels could wear them. I don't understand. Who in the world are you? I suppose I'd say I'm someone who's hoping he can count on your cooperation in the future. As I mentioned before, I'd like to learn more about the Seraph, and I think you can help me with that. Okay, but why the Seraph? Because, you see, I was called here by the Ophan. The Ophan summoned you? If that's actually true and not part of some devious plot, it would explain so much! That could be why Luna is drawn so strongly to someone like the Demon Lord, despite her deep devotion to the Cherub and her utterly self-centered nature. And my strong-willed madam left the interior in favor of Rabi Village. And how he can use a miracle, just like the Seraph. It explains why he can give someone an angel's halo, when such a thing should be impossible. And that mysterious building with the sacred baths. I must know, do you seek information because you mean to oppose the Seraph? I assure you, that is not my intention. There are just a few questions I would like to have answered. suspected an angel's halo would look good on you. <laughs> Let's meet again. Holy Maiden White. Lucifer. According to legend, he was a fallen angel and a demon lord. An angel's halo. Something sacred and beautiful. Surely the one who made this couldn't be an evil being. Someday, I'll help you revert to the angel you truly are.
information while I'm gone. Of course. Just leave everything to me. Uh, hold on. Here. Uh. Your tie. Tahara, Rabi Village and its people are in your hands. If there's an emergency, you can send a message to me at any given time. Yeah, I got it. But I seriously doubt anything will come up that I can't handle without your help, Chief. Look at this place. The village is changing. It's come a long way. There's no turning back. I have much to protect now. And in order to keep them all safe, I need to become even stronger. My vulnerability to magic will be used against me someday. If I can't find a way to overcome it... Tahara, I have one more order for you. Uh, if anyone comes near the village with the intent of doing it harm, end them. Show no mercy. Understand? I understand. Time to go. The old man sure is impatient. And so am I. Let's go. Yeah, I can't wait. You're gonna be impossible on this trip. That was weird. A memory just hit me. Guess our conversation must have brought it back. What kind of memory? It was about Chief. The very first day I met him. That sounds interesting. Well, there isn't a whole lot to it, honestly. Just at the time. I knew that if I hadn't accepted the Chief's invitation, it probably would have cost me my life. Fact is, I can't even hold a candle to the guy. Of course you can't. Compared to the Chief, you're little more than a paramecium. Paramecium? That's what you're going with? Science nerd. Goodbye, Chief. I'm pining for you already. He just left! Oh. Prison dungeon in the city of Rookie. Should be interesting. <laughs> <laughs>